said, stop, hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. That's what Date would say if he was here right now. It's more I the Somnium. That's all you need to know. Hello, Sally the Acorn. Oh yeah, that little dweeb had a knife. And he fought a polar bear. That part was pretty cool, I gotta admit. Nothing much, Sally, just gonna talk to this pouty girl who's always pouting at us, like usual. Huh, guess I must have examined everything already. Hello, sword as well. Don't you have school? We sure ask that question a lot, don't we? I'm off today. Again? Why? Today is Tuesday. You should have school. You really can be an insensitive jerk, can't you? <laughs> Why? It's not like both of your parents have just died one after another. I'm taking the day off for morning. We're taking for the morning, but it's afternoon. say anything oh Date's brain is rotting away he won't last long now oh no you should probably prepare for a funeral soon that's so mean so they told you I'm completely fine huh look just because you're mourning doesn't mean you have to take it out on me hmm I detect no noticeable damage to your brain or more like Date you should not have any issue continuing the investigation I don't know what her problem is, Sally. There's no explanation, really. You probably went back to the hospital. Boss told Mizuki about Ota being synced. And about what happened at the cold storage warehouse. Why did she tell her all that? Mizuki was asking about the status of the investigation. The girl has lost both her parents. I am sure Boss felt that she deserved to know. So Sally, how do you feel about Dr. Robotnik? I'm just curious. Hey, will you take me with you? I told you yesterday, Mizuki. I won't put you in danger like that. But you're close to catching the culprit, right? The killer has an injury on their left leg. Boss said you need to find them. Let me help you. No, you stay here. Date? Don't you know how I feel? My parents are dead. I saw their bodies with my own eyes. Isn't that because you came with me though? And you wouldn't have if you didn't, well, you would have seen your mom no matter what, but you saw your dad because you came with us. So just saying, who are you gonna run into next time you come? Think about it. You might see Iris dead or your best friend Ota. I'm going to go crazy. Date, please. He's an evil genius and he could destroy the world. Oh, you're just describing Sword, aren't you? Mizuki's crying. Well, time to go to our investigation. Consider Mizuki's feelings. She is lonely. Mizuki has not been with Renju and Shoko for four years, but clearly she still feels a bond to them. A bond that was broken by the murderer. With her parents gone, 
Mizuki has almost no one. She can only depend on one person now. Who could you that be? To whom I am referring. Ota? Let's be talking about Ota. Alright, I'm gonna drop you off at Ota's. Fine, let's go. You're gonna take me? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Something really funny about like the expressions they decided to use. You're gonna take me? And then it shows a picture of her frowning and it cuts to a picture of him like just really smiling. <laughs> it's really comedic. But Sally, what if Sword is Dr. Eggman this Thank whole time? You, I mean, penguins do lay eggs, don't they? Here, wipe your tears. We're heading out. Wipe your tears. Date, I must admit, I am at a disadvantage. The clue that the culprit is injured on their left leg does not help me narrow down suspects significantly. Well, all we have to do is run around every significant character in the game and look at their left leg. We need to revisit the scene. It's possible that we might find the culprit at one of the crime scenes. Or ask around the city for further information. Although they've already sort of suggested that it was Ota's mother, unless they're just trying to give us a red herring. It's like she just washed her face. Whoa! Wow. That's a lot of locations, but none of them are the restaurant where we can talk to a uh, mom, huh? Who knows for sure if Sword is Dr. Eggman? Exactly, Sally. Exactly. It's a Tuesday. So that's the situation. I see. Someone with an injured left leg, huh? Hey, Date, are you ever going to eat those leftovers you're keeping in the fridge? I'll get to it. Shut up. Why would you leave, put le leftovers in her fridge? What do you get after malting, milling, mashing, lautering, boiling, and fermenting? Um, beer? I assume that's the answer. Answer. Do I watch Speed Racer? You know, I had a, uh, when I was little, I had a Speed Racer VHS tape. A lot of the earliest stuff I watched when I was really little. We didn't really have, like, proper TV. With, like, channels. So instead I had, like, a box of VHS tapes. Hey, Date, honey. Want to see some half-naked men hugging on the ground? UFC? Don't describe it like that. You're talking about sumo wrestling, right? Oh, or sumo wrestling. I, I don't want to say sumo wrestling, they're really wrestling on the ground, though. Because if you get knocked down in sumo wrestling, that's pretty much it. Because most likely you're landed outside of the ring. Hey, Date? I see... Crazy on the Caprice? blackboard. What is that? It's a portmanteau for couples are crazy. It's a kind of salad. That tastes like a compulsive liar, isn't it? Hey, Date, he? you remind me of bar stools sometimes. The stool part, anyway. Stool as in poop. But I see that Mizuki is still capable of being childish at times. Twelve angry bullets. <clears throat> Instead of twelve angry men. A while back, there used to be a detective who fought crime with hangers. No one gets that reference. A detective who fought crimes with hangers. Ah. Uh.
clearly he's talking about Hanger Man. Oh, what the heck? No, not at all. I see gay people on TV all the time, so it's not weird to me. The LGBT community is rich in sensibility, has excellent taste, and is full of talented artistic people. Mizuki's like, um, I'm they in. share a common struggle. It makes them more sensitive and capable of sympathy. That's why so many of them are kind and caring. Mizuki's like, uh, it's the year 2022. And they choose how to live their lives on their own terms. It means they have a strong backbone. So because of all that, I really respect them. They're even kind of cool. And that means you too, Mama. Oh, I love it. Bravo. Oh. Six million yen to you. Six million. You can transfer it to my account. <laughs> Still not used to Mama, huh? No, I am. You sure? You still look a little scared. A little. Ha <laughs> <laughs> scaredy cat. Hmm. Laughing at me. Yeah, because it was funny. I'm going to expose your browser history. <gasps> what? Oh no. Seven ways to take home a cabaret girl. Okay, that's not that bad, is it? Three minutes with a married woman? That's okay, that's a little worse. Stop, stop. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Why did she memorize them? Did the one she brought up at the house though in the last time we streamed this? Jeez Louise. Hey, Mizuki, what's inside that backpack you always have on you? Metal pipe. Why? I'm just curious. Well, water, dehydrated bread, chocolate, biscuits, a flashlight, a hand charger, Swiss Army knife, a candle, matches. What's a hand charger? Triangular badges, a first aid kit, whistle, portable toilet, a plastic bag, duct tape, a grenade, a magnet, disposable hand warmers. Do you have an entire disaster relief kit in your bag? Better safe than sorry. How about napkins? I'm ready for anything. I'm one to carry napkins Perhaps in my backpack. I heard, but wasn't there an illegal item in there? Right, the Swiss Army knife. Yeah, I'll look the other way. It charges your hand. Did they mean a portable? No, they said portable hand charger, huh? Or maybe they just meant a portable charger. Uh, about the culprit with the injured leg. Sorry, no idea. Well, let's see your leg, mama, if you have nothing to hide. Damn. I thought you of all people would know something. I am an informant, but really dangerous information doesn't just come rolling in here. But I promise, I'll keep my eye out for anything. Please do. Hand grenades are legal in Japan? Oh, I missed the hand grenade. I compl She was listing off so many things, I didn't catch that. So the joke was that they said something and illegal. Find something. And he pointed out the Swiss Army knife rather than a hand grenade. You have to take a bath with me. Oh, absolutely not. Oh, why not? Because you take up all the hot water. That's your issue. I promise I won't. I'll even take the costume off. Oh, uh, it's a costume. Mm-hmm. And I look good without it. That's a little little appropriate. About Mizuki. I never got to tell you, but I think she's very cute. I could just eat her up. Um, okay. Oh, don't worry, sweetie. I only really want to eat men. Oh, <gasps> Date, what are you <laughs> making me say? It'll not you make you say it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, come on. Isn't a gentleman supposed to cover for a lady's slip of the tongue? Who is the lady Mama is referring to? Don't ask me. Uh... Anything new about the Cyclops? I've looked into it, but I still don't have anything useful for you. 
<laughs> Sally said, you kidding me? Taking a bath with a mama? Not cool. That's no good, as Sonic would the say. The is still as fresh as a young man's juices. What does that mean? I have Yeah, no let's idea. not elaborate on that one. Alright, I guess we gotta go. For the chat, mama. We have many more places to hit up. Leaving already? I have an investigation to finish, but I'll be back. You are so impatient, even though you take your time in bed. Don't say How would you know like that? that? In bed? What does that mean? Mizuki, you... You don't need to know. Don't, don't think Let's deeper go. into it. Polishing the Benito as she does. You can bet your bottom dollar on that. I'd buy that for a dollar. What? We're gonna go to Bloom Park again? What? This is probably just gonna be another place for them to have a conversation rather than actually find any new clues if I had to guess. I remember telling you before that Bloom Park is an important part of my memories. Before it shut down, I came here a lot with Daddy and Mom. They fought a lot, but sometimes they got along. Whenever we were here, it was one of those sometimes days. I remember it clearly. I was just a little girl, but it was so rare to see them laughing together. That's why I remember it so well. It's really messed up they freaking murdered your mom here. It's almost like the killer was out to get you specifically. Like this. Mom was standing right next to me. She was holding me. So I wouldn't fall. Oh, well, that was nice of her. Horse. Barrier. Aerosol. Hole. Kaloon. Uh, skewered. Let me guess, they look pathetic. Yeah. That was a person with saying the movie of Robocop. Yep. You are right, Sally. And they referenced it in a Smash TV. Which I guess is one of Sword's favorite games. They bring it up all the time. I'd buy that for a dollar. Not get any special dialogue with the examinations. Uh, did you go on any other rides? I couldn't get on many of them because I was so little. But I did ride the Ferris wheel. And the Panda ride. <laughs> kind of tame now, but at the time they were really fun. I was having so much fun it felt... Wrong. Like it was too good to be true. You shouldn't have been smiling about that. Where was Renju when you were on the horse? Daddy was on the outside taking pictures of me and mom. He was on the other side of the fence with an old camera. Every time we passed in front of him, mom and I would wave our hands. <laughs> we sound like a happy family, huh? He must have gotten good pictures. No, actually. We tried developing them at the park, but they came out all blurry and out of focus. But mom wasn't mad or upset or anything. She just started laughing. That might have been the first and last time the three of us laughed out loud together. Wow. Say nothing. I didn't say anything as Mizuki climbed down from the horse. She asked me something strange. Hey Date, how do you define family? Define it? You mean like being blood related? That would mean you and I could never be family. Well, I guess that's okay. It's okay. This is what I think. A family is a perfectly ordinary relationship in the most ordinary way. What the heck? What is that supposed to be? Huh? Like, you say, I'm home, and you get a welcome home back. Doing those ordinary things automatically without even thinking about it is what a family is. 
That's why maybe me and mom and daddy weren't able to be a family. That's that kind of makes sense. Our whole lives, we never could be ordinary. Even if I tried my hardest to be normal, it would just be awkward. Eventually, I got tired of trying. Dang. I killed them. Oh, what? I killed mom and daddy. Finally. I'm glad she finally admitted it. Okay, we can wrap this case up. We now know that Mizuki is the killer. See, I told you guys from the start, nobody believed me. I... I was never a good girl. Right. I didn't listen to mom. Right. I couldn't do ordinary things. Uh-huh. That's why mom hit me. Right. And why mom and daddy didn't get along. Uh-huh. And why they got divorced. Go on. Then mom had to start working. Uh -huh. And start doing business with dangerous people. Uh huh. If I was just a good girl. Okay, we almost got our confession complete here. Mom wouldn't have been killed. All right, lock her away, boys. This, all of this, is all my fault. Just have to strike the last part off of the record. We'll just we'll just cobble that together so it sounds like she directly committed the murder. Why me? What the heck? What's she doing there? Hey, haven't you had enough? Why me? Come Why on, me? Man. Why am I so insanely insult, rich? It's not just you, right? Why did I scam people out of millions? Doesn't every family have a tough time raising children? Our child is abnormal. Wow, rude. Abnormal. Ever since she was a baby. She had super strength. No child should cry at night as much as she did. Oh, are you serious? That's what babies do, lady. That's literally normal. No child should dislike buggy rides that much. No child should ask to be picked up and hugged all the time. Are you insane? This is all very, very normal for babies. She's still abnormal even now. Other children would have learned to clean up after themselves by now. They would be studying, going to bed on time, waking up on time. Lady, you have some high standards. Yet why is my They don't girl? exist. There is no perfect child she like this. She sounds like a normal kid to me. Exactly. Maybe the problem isn't with Mizuki. Maybe it's oh, you. Oh, got her. I'm doing more than anyone. Shots fired. Our child is stupid, brain dead, abnormal. Wow. You. You are. You're mean. You're not a nice lady. Date, honey, you can't work her up like that. Work her up? She was already acting like this before we said anything. You should scold her. Hey, Shoko. No, no. No, no, no. <laughs> there, I scolded her. You didn't really try very much. What do you think? I think she's loaded. Let her get this off her chest. I'll take a drink. You sure you aren't drinking too much, honey? If you pass out, there's no way I can control her. I'm guessing in this type of flashback thing they're not really going to comment on anything in the background, but I might as well try anyways. I do wish there was like nothing new for items that you've already examined on another part, like point in the game. That they would just stay gray. Because I'm always tempted to check out every single one. Right. Where's Mizuki now? Sleeping at home? 
She doesn't sleep at night. She's sleepy. Not knowing that her mother is crying her eyes out because of her. You're selfish. Listen to the rest of the story. I quit my job for that girl. I threw away the career that I built with my own hands. I raised my child at the expense of my own life. But one little slap. Are you hitting your kid? There's nothing I can do. I have no choice. You have no choice. I know you should never raise your hand to a child. Yes. I know that. I know that. So then you should know not to do that. But I have a good reason. Okay, what's your reason? She doesn't listen to me. So what else am I supposed to do? Oh, that'll work. What the hell do you mean, what am I supposed to do? That's no reason to hit a child. So of course she starts crying. Yes, of course. And it's so irritating that I have to hit her again to get her to stop. Are you really complaining about this? Oh, it's so annoying that I have to hit my child. Cries and cries some more. Why are you crying? If you're gonna cry, why didn't you just listen to me in the first place? Then How I dense are you, you, lady? Stupid Mizuki. Stupid girl. It's not my fault. You know, the fact you have to say it's not your fault so many times kind of shows that it is your fault. Everything is her fault. Have you talked to Renju about this? I'm trying. I'm trying harder than anyone. Yeah, you're trying so hard. That's why you're leaping to smacking your kid. Why doesn't anyone see that? Why doesn't anyone understand? <laughs> oh, boo-hoo. Poor you. Date. Yeah, I'll talk to Renju about this. It was my misunderstanding. What the heck, now he's here. What do you mean? I thought that mothers love their children unconditionally. But some mothers just can't do that. Well, no. Maybe she does love her. But she has a hard time of it. Shoko was never hugged by her mother. Not because her mother wasn't around. She was raised to never develop a sensitivity to affection. No hugs, no piggyback rides, nothing. Maybe that's why she doesn't know how to love Mizuki. When an animal raised in captivity gives birth, sometimes it just doesn't know how to raise its young. It's just like that. Um, Jay, you seem confused by the concept of flashbacks. Well, it's just funny to me that, like, she was sitting there and then suddenly, I'm gonna talk to Renju, and then it just cuts to him sitting there. I don't know, it's just funny to me. It's gonna be a waste of time looking at all the green text again, isn't it? This is why my... Playthrough's taking so long, isn't it? Alright, I'm just gonna skip. Uh, did you lose weight? I'm not going to let you set up a joke. Listen to Ren's story. Ah, smart. What do you think? Why are you asking me about raising a child, hmm? Yeah, good point. Really? You're not even going to say, Oh no, Mama, you'd be a great mother. Your name's literally Mama. You'd think that you'd be suited for that role. When you two are done talking, that's when I'll close up. Sorry about this. Alright. I feel bad about Shoko. What? You should feel bad about Mizuki. But that doesn't mean she's blameless in all this. Someone has to put a stop to it. If I could have, I would have done it a long time ago. What is the issue here, really? The mom makes plenty of money as it is. And she has a a daughter that's 
a human being and she can't handle it like what about counseling i did recommend that she told me i'm not sick why should i go see a doctor mizuki is the problem mizuki is the sick one jesus yeah it's just yeah that she just shouldn't have kids apparently yeah exactly they should be separated no Mizuki which i guess that's what happened she, right she wouldn't hear of it mizuki and shoko are practically attached at the hip wait what oh mizuki wouldn't want to separate i was about to say but mm. even with all of the hitting yes even if she's abused on a daily basis even if she's treated like garbage it's weird that they're attached though because mizuki doesn't even like she calls her dad daddy and then mom is just mom maybe but it almost seems like she'd be closer to the father mizuki is hungry for love she craves praise and attention and physical affection she wants it from her mother that's why she's so attached well she ain't gonna get it unfortunately you are the father though yeah exactly why can't you step in i have a company now okay lemniscate we're at a crucial stage of development i can't take even a single second out of my day to deal with a kid oh i doubt it hey that's your daughter you're talking about maybe because you two can't cooperate on raising a child shoko is having trouble coping well what if you, yeah what if you took turns lighten the load a little that might be it maybe this is partially my fault okay i'm sorry but i'm just gonna say it you two are both awful parents true And I'm guessing that leads into that previous flashback we saw where Date I knew about the whole thing. Agrees to uh take care of her. That's why four years ago I decided to start taking care of Mizuki. Right. <laughs> Mizuki, you did nothing wrong. You did murder your parents, but besides that... Don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. Not one single thing was your fault. <laughs> you did it in the dream. You hugged her, now hug her IRL. Oh, okay. Nope. <laughs> Let's go to the hospital, that'll make you feel better. Mizuki. Look who it is, old leg wound. And Date. Ota, are you okay? Yeah, totally. Yeah, don't mind me, I'm just holding a knife down here. Oh, I don't want to get in your way. I should head home before I cause any more trouble. No, not at all. You're fine right here. No, really, I should go. I'm sure that he has more fun with his friends than with me. So... Oh, she ran. Now we can't check her leg for wounds. Thanks, Mizuki. Why are you so unempathetic to Mizuki's pain? I'm not unempathetic. What are you talking about? I took her to the hospital to cheer her up. Huh? You came to visit me, right? Oh, yeah. Right. It would be awkward to admit we are only here for the investigation. Yeah. I know this is sudden, but I'm brave, okay. smart, and handsome, right? 
I will chide you on your labels. A bedside table. Why did he randomly bring that hey, up? Hey, Date, I've got this video of a lady cleaning a jumbo jet. Wanna watch? I'm not gonna watch your videos with you, Ota. A lady cleaning a jumbo jet. Come when Iris is sleeping beside me. Uh, My guess is never. Uh, uh. Everything, wait, no, yeah, I think that's everything in here. No, just what I told you yesterday. All right, you know, if you weren't in the hospital, I would slap you upside the head so hard you start remembering things again. Like shock Jeez. therapy? Whoa, old school. I thought Abyss was more future tech than that. We are. But if it ain't broke, you can learn a lot from the past. I see. Maybe you should hit him. Oh my god. No, no. No way. Ota's pretty energetic for being in bed all day. He's the type that gets annoying around women. Mizuki, you should know better than anyone. Hitting doesn't solve anything. So, we still don't know who the culprit is? If you remember anything at all, please, tell me. Well, maybe that all depends. If you could get me, say, Tessa's toothbrush, it might jog Why do you need her toothbrush? Are you really gonna do this in front of Mizuki? It's fine. She Mizuki knows. Mizuki proofreads the light novels I write. I'm sure she's used to it by now. Oh god, you're right. What are you making her read? Lots of things, like... W wait, Mizuki, you don't have to tell him! I do not have a Sega Mark III Red Photon Zillion. No. I'm actually not sure what that is. Is that the new Sega console that just came out? Forget me. Are you okay? You passed out last night. Yeah, I'm fine. I feel much better after a good night's sleep. It sounded like you were having a nightmare. You kept moaning something about... Reika. Reika. Uh. Seriously? Seriously. Isn't that the cabaret girl that he likes so much? We're never gonna actually see this Reiko, huh? Even though she's brought up all the time. that you fought off the killer and saved Iris. That's so cool, Ota. You have a wound of honor. No, not really. Well, I guess a little. Calling me a hero. It's kind of embarrassing. I didn't Oda, you call you a hero. <laughs> yeah. But also, Oda, you were just saying how you were it is charming and brave and stuff. He is still irritating. Even more irritating than seeing cosplay in public. About Iris. Have you heard about Iris? The nurse was talking about her a minute ago. That she's still in the ICU? Yeah. Uh, apparently the surgery went well, but she hasn't woken up yet. Hey, Ota. Next time we should fold a thousand paper cranes. Oh. I only know that because in uh, Origami King... You can make a wish if you fold a thousand paper cranes, right? To wish that Iris will get better. Yeah. We could even make her a life-size crane. That would be a somewhat troublesome gift. Alright. 
Yeah, this, let's go. We've done all we can Wait, here. Wait, you two just got here. It's okay. We saw you. Now we can go. True. <sighs> we all Besides, the up. real killer it's escaped possible. already. It is unlikely he has any further useful information. Right. Where to now, Date? Hmm. Let's see. All right. Um. Is Sunfish Pocket open again, or is it still closed after the hook incident? Visited Sunfish Pocket with Mizuki, where Renju was killed. Once again, I look for any clues you might have missed. I guess it was a waste of time. Yeah, I didn't find any clues. Well, time to go home. Ryugu Water, 980 yen. 980 yen? Yep. For water? I was about to say, for water? Not just water, seawater. You can't even drink it. Yeah, you're not supposed to drink seawater. It dehydrates you, I think, right? Or it'll make you sick in any case. Which one is your type, Date? Where is this coming from? Just tell me. Well, let's see. Wow, you're really thinking about it? Disgusting. Oh. Last. You set him up for that one. Say the second one from the left on the top row is my type. Of course, it came, if it came down to it, I wouldn't say no to any of them. So this one, which I can barely see. Hmm. Security camera doorway. Cash register. Wait. Close oh, the window. That's about. Uh, oh wait, light, jellyfish. Oh wait, wooden barrel. All right. I'm um, sorry for bringing you here. Because this is where Daddy's corpse was. No, because it's a maid cafe. I told you before, it's fine. I was the one who said I wanted to come with you, so. Can you think of anything? Um, not really. Let's get going. Yeah. Nothing we can do here. Wow. This was a quick one. Alright, um... Let's go to the cold storage warehouse. Hello, Double O. How's it go? This where did you come from? Where did you go? Got killed, right? Gives me goosebumps. You scared? That's rare. It's probably just cold. You need to chill. You need to get better jokes. Oh, True. I understand. Chill, meaning both cold and relax. A pun intended. Don't explain it. It's embarrassing. Clues, clues. Where are you? 
You miss Mike? I'm sure you'll see Mike again one day. One day in the distant future. What would happen if I put you in that box and then soaked it in gasoline and then lit it on fire? Oh my god. I'd die, obviously. <laughs> well, you couldn't fit me in the box anyway. Oh. I'll just cut you into pieces then. Wow. I think you are the murderer. Th these are some psychotic thoughts you're having. What would happen if I put you in that box and then dropped a five ton weight on it? Uh, I'd die, obviously. Jeez, do you want to kill me? I would collect a lot of insurance. Wow. Hey, Jay, what's that guy's name? I don't remember. Zenigata? No, not so far. We see each other a lot. Do we? Yeah, you're right. Maybe in a previous life we... Taro. You must be Taro, right? Taro. There you go. His name's Taro, sword. No, I'm not Taro. Oh, never mind. Well, I don't dislike it. Of course, eh, depending on the case, sometimes it does get pretty discouraging. But that just makes the job all the more important, right? It means it really makes a difference in the world. You're a great guy. You should learn from him. Do you know why I do this job? What keeps me going? I heard you became a cop so you could steal underwear from the gym and not get in trouble. Uh... Who told you that? I'll show them trouble. <laughs> Whoops. Punching shoulders from the cold. Is that a thing that people was do? Down around here, right? I guess because you're kind of curling up a little more. Correct. Tharnoda bleeding all over the bl blood evidence. The blood stains there must belong to Ota. What's the cat experiment where you fill a box with water and a cat the Probability of it being dead is 50-50, so you have to assume the cat is dead in a lot. Oh, that's uh, Schrod Schrodinger's cat. You didn't ask him his name last time. Well, because it was just the same thing every time, so I just stopped. But also, I could never remember what his name was anyways. Correct. No, wait. That's where the polar bear's leg was pierced by the hook. Yeah. Where's the Oda stain then in that case? Or are they just both on top of each other? Date, I the blood stain here is not from a single person. Well, there we go. Two different blood types are present. Then we can figure out what it is. One of them is most likely Ota's. Right, right. The other. The other is Mizuki's. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, do you have DNA forensics on that blood stain? Of course, yeah. I already sent it to the lab to be analyzed. I don't know if those were gunshots or fireworks. Hard to tell sometimes. Why are you waiting? Because that blood is from Ota Matsushita's wound, right? I didn't think there was any need to rush the results. Tell them we need it analyzed urgently. Highest priority. The culprit's blood is mixed with Ota's. Yes, sir. Understood. You did it, Date. We're making progress. If this goes well, we can identify the criminal with a single test. But it might take some time for the results to come out. No point waiting here. We might as well check somewhere else. 
Got it. All right. Um. I guess we can go to the shrine. I'm guessing that's going to be like another random conversation. Pray the criminal DNA is in the database. True. Because it very well might not be, huh? Huh? Why are we at the shrine? Did you come here to pray that you find the criminal? No, I don't believe in God. <gasps> Wow, how edgy teen of you. <laughs> Don't call me a teen. You're 12. Well, you said that you got the shoulders of a 40-year-old. What? What does that mean? That's not even remotely similar. So why are we really here? I sometimes come here when an investigation stalls. It helps me think. Sometimes I even solve the case from here. This is a quiet, peaceful little spot in the middle of a violent city. It's calming. It keeps all of the bad I guess we haven't away. been here with Mizuki yet, have we? We've only been here with Iris a few times. Didn't expect you to be such a poet. You could at least call me a romantic. Same thing. They're not at all the same thing. It's the difference between someone who's frugal and someone who's cheap. You're stubborn about weirdly specific things. Bell. Mr. Bell? Mrs. Bell. I see you two are getting along well. Travis Bell. That's the name of Tra the Travis from Killer7. What does it say? When riding on a train, people on opposite sides of the car doors shouldn't stare at each other. Oh wait, I think we, we took her here to train in that flashback, didn't we? Because she was asking what that said That's before. What it says. That is definitely a lie. I remember that. I remember telling Mizuki that Chazuya was for washing her belly button. Does she still believe that? Well, let's see and find out. Say, so Mizuki, you better go use the Chazuya and then see what she does. Why do these dog statues always have one with its mouth open and one with its mouth closed? For variety. Good question. Maybe the one with his mouth open is going, ah, uh, and the one with his mouth closed is going, um. <laughs> Are you fake sleeping? The ah uh, and um guardian dogs. Hey, Mizuki, do you think you could fit your hand into the box there? Hey, Date, are you really a cop? Yeah, he was trying to bait you. About your train. Coming here reminds me of when I trained you. Yeah, it's been a while since we came here last. I have nothing more to teach you. Let us see the results of your training. Leave it to me. Begin! Oh! The heck? He's a freaking Dragon Ball Z character. Well, 
This is on you. Huh? Hey! What are you two doing? Mizuki, run for it! Uh, wait for me! God damn. She knocked a tree down. By the way, whatever happened to those kids who bullied you? They're dead. I pummeled them. Oh, did I not tell you? No, you haven't said anything about it. I didn't want to pry. They stopped bugging me as soon as I threatened to fight back. They targeted some other kids instead. They did terrible things. Wow, they're wimps. So Just like I... most bullies. I broke all their front teeth. Oh. Jeez. Hey, since we're here, let's go into the shrine. I told you, I don't believe in that stuff. Come on, come on! Okay. Hello. What did you ask for? To leave this boring place as soon as possible. And you? <laughs> it's a secret. When you tell people your wish, it won't come true. Then why did you ask me? True. Because if your dream doesn't come true, mine is more likely to. That's kind of greedy. You're more crooked than a hernia. Huh? Anyway, where to next? All right, we got one more place to visit. Oh, where are the Ibis headquarters be coming? I'm mean, probably because the uh, blood work is done. But let's let's start by Lemonscape first. Probably gonna visit Iris. I'm guessing. Wait, when is she be in the hospital? Cause her eyeball got torn out. Yeah, who else is gonna be there? If not, Oda, Oda or Iris. All right, there is the receptionist. All right, what's this painting called, okay, Mizuki? Look at that! It's a Hercules beetle. Yay! Hercules beetle! Yay! All right, Mizuki, what's the name of this painting? Oh, I asked someone about oh. that earlier. It's like lionfish and shag carpet or something. Ah, I thought Mizuki was going to say the name of it. Oh, it's Payasi Samba. Oh, yes. Payasi Samba. I don't know what that is. A stool is a chair that has no or a very small backrest. Special underground horse racing bets to win big. I'll take that one home with me next time. <laughs> Usually, Date is the one taking magazines home. What's that sofa stuffed with? Sofa stuffing. Hmm. Alright. Oh boy. What? Oh god, Dante. Oh, <laughs> this is embarrassing. But okay. What? Seriously? Really? Yeah. I sprinted to the desk. Then she sealed her mouth shut tight and puffed out her cheeks. Oh. <laughs> Poked them with the tip of my finger. They're surprisingly soft. Date, what are you doing? Sorry, what? Does this have anything to do with the investigation? Uh, no. <laughs> of 
course. Punched me in the gut, dragged me back to where I was. I mean, you kind of had that one coming, Date. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, two. Well, of course it would be two cups. Three cups would be a nightmare. Date, why are you asking that? It's important for the investigation. Make sure to save right here, really? Can you die? Then ask her to go to Atami. Oh, well, good thing. That would have been the next thing. I don't even know what Atami is. It's a resort town in Japan. I've made up my mind. You can't stop me. Side effects of the medication. This is acute brain failure. Would that be like, um... Resort town. Wait, are you serious? So it's basically just like a place where you would like rent a hotel and stuff and like like go like visit the town and all that Do I like look for like vacation Date you're being annoying again Do you know how angry I can get Date Let's go to Atami uh, Okay I took her and let her out of lemon skate I left Iba behind you don't think she'd be a little weirded out that you left your eyeball behind? Oh! Thus concludes the case of the new Psych Club serial killer. Goodbye, police officer life. Hello, Atami Shizuoka. I decided to begin life anew as a carnival worker in the Hot Springs town. The end. Oh! We beat the game! All right, well, this was a fun game. I'm glad that we had a happy ending. Uh, Aiba can raise Mizuki, so I'm sure she'll be fine. Wait, so I shouldn't save, right? Should I save? Because I know you told me to save beforehand. If I choose yes to save, do I get to choose what which slot I save in? I'm gonna assume no. Since you told me to save before. Uh... So that really counted as an ending, huh? Okay, so I guess I restart this. Begin or reopen? Reload the save now, but then won't I, won't, won't I not have that extra ending that I just got? How do I reload? Oh, it's not a real ending. It sure ended like a real ending. What's the difference between begin investigation and reopen investigation? Does one start you from the beginning? No, but... Hmm. Uh, I guess I'll just... 
Oh, I'm trying to reload the save. I just don't know how to get to where I can do that. Maybe I just have to leave here. Well, there was no way to load the save from there. Was that wasn't like like I was trying to reload the save. There's just you can't do it from there. Um, but wait, it just brings me back here though. So do I? I do begin investigation. What what did I do? I swear to God, I just reloaded the safe. Watch. Load. Oh, that was the autosave. Okay. See, I just picked the one that had the f longest time, because usually that's... Usually the, the one that I s manually saved is the one that has longer time. It's weird though, I'm, I'm surprised that it auto saves since it actually asks me if I wanted to save and I said no. Alright, there we go, now we're back here. Uh, nope, sorry. But I did see a guy who had legs like a horsehair crab. What? Sounds horrifying. My favorite receptionist, I wonder why. Mizuki, could you go to the office? Ask them if they've seen anyone with an injured left leg. Got it. If it only said autosave in all capital letters. I don't know, I guess I never noticed that it just straight up says... Or I don't know, I guess I was looking for the time, because I always look for the time first. Looks like it didn't go well. No. Sometimes we would talk when I came over to hang out. What kind of things did you talk about? Nothing special. The usual. The usual? Are you doing well? Have you been eating right? Huh. So that's the usual. A little better than her mom. Good idea. You might find something important in there. Ain't nothing in there. Damn, no hits. Do not be discouraged. Bad days and sore feet are part of the job. Time to earn my paycheck, I guess. Alright, let's see if the blood sample came through yet. Take the call, Mizuki might ask questions. What's the problem with that? Are you talking to yourself again? Do you need to go to the hospital? Exactly. It's weird though, because sometimes it seems like we take phone calls with our own thoughts, and other times we and cause because other characters don't point out that we're talking to ourselves. But then other times I guess we are talking out loud to ourselves. I can put it on speaker. Yeah, do that. Please. Date, are you with Mizuki right now? Yes, what's up? I need you to come to Abyss headquarters with Mizuki. I was just heading there. Did something happen? Yeah, the head office is here. They want to get information from Mizuki. We here at Abyss have her testimony. 
but the rest of the NPD wants to hear from her. They didn't get anything from her last time. They want to do an official questioning. All right. This order comes straight from the top. We don't have the power to say no. So, please. You heard her. The characters who don't point it out know about Iba. I could have sworn we've done it in front of other people too, though, like Mama. And uh, maybe even like the. the. Uh, the political dude. I don't want to. I want to keep investigating. There's nothing we can do. We can't fight the power of the state. You are the power of the state. Abyss is a toenail on the foot of the state. As far as they're concerned, we don't really do anything, and we don't have any say in what they do. And any time we get too troublesome, they cut us off. Why? Oh, stupid Dante. Hey, you can't blame him. <sighs> He's just doing his job. Sorry for the trouble. Don't worry about it. I'm just a slave to you anyway. Oh, come on. I don't treat you like a slave, do I? Hope not. Just because I sometimes make you lick between my toes? Uh, what? Ew, what? I didn't lick anything. Anyway, thanks, Dante. Oh, my lord. You're just as bad as Dante. And don't worry about Mizuki. What is this world that Mizuki has to to live in, has to grow up in? I told HQ to take it easy. Mizuki, just make sure you behave and listen. It'll be over soon, don't worry. Besides that, Date, there's something I have to tell you. You have a message from one of the inspectors at the warehouse. He wants to give you some information in person at the warehouse. Could he have... Hmm. The blood results? I'll head over right away. They actually tested the blood at the warehouse? Mizuki, you be a good girl, okay? Ugh. Jeez. Sword, what is this game that you've been having me play? It just keeps getting worse. These characters are out of control. Hey, Dante, sorry to make you come all the way down here, but I have the results of the DNA analysis. What did you find? It's just like you said, there were two different blood signatures. Right. One is definitely from Oda Matsushita. And the other? Huh? Well, we got the results, but we couldn't find any matches in our database. That is not surprising. HQ does not have a complete record of everyone's DNA. All right, dub what Double O said was right. What now? What now? Do not panic. I have a piece of information I think you should know. What is it? I have discovered a suspicious person at your 12 o'clock. 200 yards. He's looking this way. Person? Is it really any worse than something like No More Heroes? I mean, in a sense, could be. Hello, Kiko. This guy? Oh, little Date, time for your medication. I said 200 yards ahead. Whoops. Sorry, Iba. I wasn't paying attention. He looks suspicious. Why does he look suspicious? There was. Oh, there we go. Water. Not there. I don't think there's anything else to examine. You're right, but I'm not close enough to tell. Oh, 
Oh, it's the dude. Is this game for kids? Like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Oh god. Yep. That's so Sejima. This is actually the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy video game, if you think about it. Inside joke, I love Douglas Adams. I don't believe it. His left oh. leg. Huh? My dude really came Stop back to the scene of the crime. Stop. Wow. <sighs> Damn it! It's him. So's the culprit. Yeah, very sus indeed, Calm Kiko. Down. We cannot yet make that conclusion. He was only dragging his left leg. But he's been all over this case. Yeah, so maybe far. his leg just fell asleep. That's true. Shoko and Renju are both in bed with the Kumakuras. And the Kumakuras know so. And not just that. We saw him in Iris' Somnium. Still. And he has no alibi. Um, yeah, he has a false eye, Kiko. His left eye is... He, he, he lost his eye. So now he has this... See the projection of the girl? That's like... He can see that through his false eye, and it's like an AI that lives inside of it. Get it? AI. I. <laughs> no alibi for Shoko, Renju, or the warehouse. Date, calm down. The only thing we have so far is circumstantial evidence. Although that is a good point. How come they didn't just make his artificial eye look the same as his uh, real we eye? also do not have any established motive. Maybe it was like because it was already created, it wasn't made for him, maybe, and then he got it off too. Shoko and Renji? Why would he cut out Iris's eyeball? Well, however, I do agree that so is suspicious. Speaking of Douglas Adams, did you ever see that uh, Detective Dir Dirk Gently? They did like a mini series or something, which I had completely forgotten about. I don't know if it was any good though, because I haven't seen like anything of it. I just know they did like a mini series, like somewhat recently. Do you agree with me or not? Like within the past like several years. I am explaining to you that we currently do not have enough evidence to bring him in. Confronting him now would only result in him denying everything. We need direct evidence. Direct evidence. The criminal's blood from the cold storage warehouse. If the DNA matches So's. Right. We need to get So's DNA. The question is, how? You read the book but didn't watch the miniseries. Yeah, I read the... F There's actually two books. Um, they're both pretty good from what I remember. I think I still have one of them. What are we looking for? Evidence? Yeah, let's go to So's house. Why not? If you went to his mansion, his DNA would be everywhere. But it will not be easy to get inside. He has hired bodyguards as well. Could the hospital have his DNA? I checked their database. So Sejima has never received medical treatment at the Right, or else it would have came up probably. The Kumakura. Oh yeah, he shows up to the Kumakura's office. Hey Aiba, do you remember when we went to the Kumakura's office Sunday? Of course. I am incapable of forgetting anything. Then let me ask you a question. What was on the table in front of Dude, the Dude, the second Dirk Gently book was so weird. There was like Nordic gods were just in the book. Like you're you're reading about this character that for the longest time you don't even realize that they're talking about Thor. And then after like you've read for a while, you're like, wait, that was Thor the whole time? What the hell? And then it makes sense in retrospect that that's who they were talking about. Exactly. And 
and So's saliva might still be on the butts. If we have right. that, we have So's DNA. We need to go get them cigarettes. Wait a moment. That was two days ago. The ashtray must have been emptied by now. But there's a chance. We have to at least try. Hmm. I agree. All right, let's head there. All right, we're gonna... We're gonna find these cigarettes. And then So's done for. So more like so long. See you in prison. Hey, what are you doing here? Nothing with this old man. Date, don't bother. I know. I looked at the ashtray on the table, but... Where are the cigarette butts that were in? Hey! Where are those cigarette... That's such a weird question, like... Obviously they tossed them out. Huh? The cigarette butts, from when I was here a few days ago. We threw them away, of course, dumbass. Where, dumbass? Right. <laughs> uh, why do you care about some cigarettes? I need them for the investigation of the new Cyclops serial killings. I see. Just last morning... I heard there was a new victim. I didn't watch it. But I Old man, you look 20. Streamed online. I know. True. Poor girl got one of her eyes cut out. Well, we are an anime pro tag. We have to look 20. It's kind of rule. It's just I the rules. That, idiot. Hey, Joe. Sorry. And you're here for the investigation? Yes. So if I cooperate, you'll correct. All right. Look around as much as you want. Huh? That was easy. Wow. The Yakuza are actually pretty reasonable people. You said you were looking for cigarette butts, right? Yeah, the one So was smoking. So Sejima? You think he did it? No, nothing for sure yet. Hey guys, where's the cigarettes that were in here? I ate them, boss. In the trash in the back, boss. Bring me the one that So was smoking. Yes, sir. Boss, you know I have a uh, what is it called when you eat strange objects? Pika. I use disposable chopsticks to lay them out on the table. I didn't touch them. I'm being considerate, I see. But why did you bring four? There were a couple of other cigarette butts in the bin. I didn't know which one so smoked. Moma? I don't remember. But so cigarette is definitely one of these? Yeah, it's gotta be. Date. Well, just check the DNA on so all smoking. of them. Right. He was smoking. Klein. Klein. I remember. See, that's the type of memory where, like, if you asked me to say what it was he was smoking, I went, I couldn't just remember the name off the top of my head. But if I saw the name again, then I would know. So was smoking a Klein cigarette. Correct. Because as soon as I saw the name, I was like, ah, yeah, that's it. Let's return to Abyss. Pewter should be able to get DNA from it. Got it. Looks like you found it. Yeah, thanks to you. Ah, this was nothing. Anything for Tessa. Tessa? Did you just say Tessa? You sure did. What, what are you talking about, you Neanderthal? <laughs> I said anything for Tesseract. That doesn't even make sense. It's a Tesseract. Shut up! If you're done here, get your ass going. All right, whatever you say. Anything for Tesseract. I'm counting on you, Pewter. You can leave it to me. All right. 
If the DNA on that cigarette butt matches the blood stain in the warehouse, there would be no doubt that So Sejima is our mysterious polar bear. How long will it take to analyze? It will take I 20 six years. Hours. You've got three. <sighs> That's totally unreasonable, but I suppose. I will do my best to have this analyzed in three hours. You folded pretty easily on that one. I want to catch the criminal as soon as possible. That's all. Now, because time is of the essence, excuse me. How is Mizuki, by the way? They finished questioning her. I had one of the officers take her home. She should be there by now. Good. So, Sejima. I can't believe it, of all people. Really? You can't believe that the sketchy political figure maybe did something sketchy? Sure yet. But you saw that his leg was injured, right? It's pretty damning evidence. Don't be too hasty, boss. You were saying the same thing earlier. Anyway. Let's wait for the results. I will clear everything up. Yeah, you're right. I hope this won't be trouble. Trouble? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Hmm? Hmm? Oh. Evidence. 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 Yes. The DNA I collected from the cigarette butt is a possible <gasps> match to the bloodstain from the warehouse. Dun dun dun. Really? So he was in the polar bear suit? It was so all along. He was the polar bear. He carved out Iris's eye and stabbed Oda. It's weird that they never made a connection with the knife being Otis's uh Oda's mom's knife though. And probably killed Renju and Shoko. Making so Sejima the new Cyclops killer. I wish they would have brought that up. Alright, Sally, you have a good night. Thank you, Pewter. Don't thank me yet. Hurry up and get so. Yeah, you're right. Well, now we have a warrant for his arrest, don't we? When I was about to open the door, it was open from the other side. Boss. Boss, listen. The blood stain in the cold storage warehouse. I know. I got a report from Pewter. Well, then you already know. I'm heading there right now. Heading where? Where else? To So's house. Date, I'm sorry, but you can't do that. Why not? What? I can't let you get So. Boss, I don't understand. This comes from the top. So and the head office have been tightening it for 20 years now. Okay. They can't go against So's wishes. Okay, then I'll just do it of my own accord. It's corruption and bribes to be sure, but there's also some kind of blackmail. Blackmail? So knows something. Something that the public can never know. If that secret got out, the authority of law would be thrown into question, and the entire police force would be at risk. The fact that you're protecting him is putting the authority of law into question. So has something on HQ? Yes, almost certainly. That's why I can't let you go. Do you understand? No. Hell no. Yeah, thank you, Date. I see. Then I'm sorry, but I have no choice but to take you off this case. Hey, boss, come on. Are you serious? Are you serious? You gotta be kidding me! Why are you so protective of these, these upper people? I had enough, I pushed past boss and left the room. Walked with a confidence right down the hall with no hesitation. I had made up my mind. I was going to sell Sejima's mansion. Thank you! Even if this is kind of a dumb idea and we're gonna get in trouble, I wouldn't have been satisfied if we didn't go there. This comes from the top. Man, why is the top guy always gotta be this? unfeeling, corrupt entity. Why can't the top ever be cool? Dante, are you sure you want to do this? You still have a chance to turn around. 
If you put your hands on so, you will never be able to return to Abyss. Oh well. I don't care. I don't want to work for a rotten organization in the pocket of some politician. Hell yeah, Date. Hell yeah. When this is over, I'll open a restaurant in Okinawa or something. Wait! Oh, That's what I'm we get talking a about. Place instead? That's not what I mean. You have a video message. A video? Look! Mizuki's been kidnapped. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> there we go. Shit! I was half serious, but to the top A, hey, bro, do what you feel. I can't believe it literally Mizuki got kidnapped and then Mizuki got kidnapped. Was that at our apartment? Mizuki! Mizuki! Oh, she's actually there. Good question. Is she, oh, is she inside of the amp, maybe? Don't worry, I'll find you. I'm guessing she's inside of the speaker, so I'm gonna check that last. Maybe. Are you blind? Mizuki isn't there. Maybe. Are you joking at a time like this? Whoops. He said. Wait, how do I check? Maybe Mizuki was converted into quantum data and downloaded into the computer. That's probably what happened. Maybe under the rug? You do not have a cellar. Look more seriously. <laughs> this is funny. She's definitely inside one of the amps. Mizuki, I can't believe you turned into this. If you don't stop joking around, I will kick your brain's ass. Dude, Date, this is... <laughs> I can't tell if he's joking around or if he's just that dumb. Damn. Date, you need to find Mizuki. She wouldn't be there. How do you know? Maybe she is there. Maybe she's inside the sink. Date, not that way. The voice is coming from the opposite direction. Maybe Mizuki was boiled up with some tomato and chicken. Do you think she's a zucchini? Yes. That is her name, after all. Well, I guess I'll make myself some eggs. There were 100 Clion? Cleone inside? What's that, like a noodle? Alright. Now let's be serious. We know she's in the... One of the speakers. Date, the hollow space in the speaker. Oh. Perhaps Mizuki is in there. There she is. Mizuki! Date, hurry! Help her! I know, I know. That's so weird. Why would the kidnapper bother hiding her inside of the speaker? To waste time, maybe? You're welcome. So typical. You're never there when you need to be. What if he just put the tape back on? I was about to miss the bus. Push her into the speed. Oh, well. I can't joke at it anymore, can I? Oh, there's a note. Halt your investigation. Consider this a warning. I'll just have Mizuki with me at all times and then she can't be kidnapped. Well, less likely to be kidnapped.
Wow, that means boss snitched on us. That's messed up. I can't believe boss did that. Dude, I can't believe he has a vinyl collection. Alright, nothing's bringing up any extra dialogue. I'm just gonna talk to her. Double S says Kiko Hala. My mouth stings a little. Thanks to you ripping the tape off my face. If I get fat lips from this, I'm gonna make you pay for cosmetic surgery. Don't it, girls want bigger lips though? Hmm. It actually would hurt more to rip it off slowly. You wanna rip off tape or like a bandage or any sticky thing really quick. If you do it real slow, that's when it'll really hurt. Especially if, like, if it's like on a part of your body that has hair on it, like your arm or something. Three men. The doorbell rang and they said they were delivery men. I thought you had bought another one of your weird videos or something, so I opened the door. Weird videos. With tear gas. Jesus. The faces. Was that necessary? No, Do they know she's masks. a super powered 12 year old? It's that they are working for so. They may be his bodyguards or hired thugs. It just makes me so mad. This just makes they me want to go after him more. I would have. Pow! Bang! Bam! Wham! Mizuki, I have just one thing to say. Hmm? Never in my life have I bought any weird videos. That's what you wanted to say? <laughs> what? We identified the person inside the polar bear. The man who tried to kill Iris and Ota? Yes. And also, I need to watch Tupac's movie Above the Rim. Well, hold on a sec. We don't know if it's the same person who killed your parents. Let's not jump to conclusions now. Who? Congressman So Sejima. So? Do you know him? Kinda. I've seen him on TV before. But why? I don't know why yet. But it was definitely his blood at the cold storage warehouse. I can't believe it. I'll Kiko never said. Him. Kiko said. Do I have it on auto? Oh, I don't know. Auto. I wonder it was like going on like that. Anyways, Kiko said. The voice acting actually doesn't bother me like most games like this. Yeah, it. It's it's not bad. It's not um like a lot of anime style games have very like I don't know how to say it, like just very generic y samey type of voice acting. It, it's really like a lot in the delivery where, where they do the same type of like enunciations over and over again. And sometimes they're just like really over the top. But this one's um does feel a lot more uh reserved which is good mizuki i'm going to so's house now especially if you're going to be hearing these voices like for hours it's like you don't Are want you them to me behind again to be annoying no not anymore you kind of watch me play near automata because every character's voice made you want to jump out of a window Even if I tried to leave you behind, you'd still come with me, wouldn't you? So are you ready? What should I be prepared for? So is, is this a new gone. Tupac movie? It might get messy. Bring it. I'll put them in the ground. Damn. Don't kill them. We need him alive, and I need you to stay safe. Can you do that? Always. Always? Occasionally. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Sword Talking said that the voice acting is very good. He killed my parents. I saw their bodies with my own eyes. True. If I turn back now, I'll go crazy. I know. You don't have to say it. 
Let's go. Five minutes. Five minutes. I don't think I've seen Above the Rim. I, I've, I've seen like, what was that move? There was like another movie that uh, the Tupac was in. It was a uh, old, like a 90s movie. It was probably the, like a, a pretty well-known one. At the end, Tupac learns what it means to be a basketball. He just transforms into a basketball. Classic one where Tupac's a villain who owns a local basketball team. No, I've never seen that one. I know there's another one uh, that he's in that I remember seeing. It's like, is it like Juice or something? I came for so. Please take me to him. Is it Juicy Joe? I believe is the full what are title. What talking about? He's sleeping and not taking any visitors. Go home. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. I'm coming in. Dude, here we go. I felt a shock ripple through my stomach. It was a fist screwing into my gut. Damn, Date, you weren't ready for that, were you? I've always wanted to see this line. Nice punch. Well, let me use a line, too. This is the end for you, chump. <laughs> This is the end for you, chump. Sejima's orders, nothing personal. That's what I thought. Huh? You're so predictable. What? Are we gonna use porno mags to defeat them? Oh, well. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Nope. We're not even close to done yet. Look. Here comes the cavalry. Jesus. Oh, there are... Bring it on. There are a lot Let's of them. This. Juice is low-key a horror flick. <laughs> okay. I don't remember that. Date. I'll take care of these guys. You get those, Date. Oh. Are you okay? I mean, she's got a, a metal pipe. She could take her 30 grown bodyguards. She's fine. Okay, this is so ridiculous. Jesus. Is this the Matrix 3 Agent Smith clone fight? Yes, that's exactly what it- Oh, you're right, because it's raining, too. This is exactly what it is, Kiko. Yeah, they're shooting at a 12-year-old girl. It's dark. I can barely with see. machine guns. There are numerous hostiles. Too many for you and your revolver to combat effectively. You have no chance with the gun. Send in the 12 year old girl with the pipe. So, what's the plan? <laughs> hmm. Let's see. What if this is all just in Date's head? He, th he thinks that they're winning, but then just. They both just got riddled with bullets like five minutes ago. It's his last, like, dying thoughts. We did it! We're winning! He's just laying in a puddle. Island in the middle of the pond. Do you remember it? Yes. Yeah? These are the suits from the Kill Bill scene. Oh yeah, the Crazy 88. Your favorite thing is on that island. My favorite thing? A porno magazine. What? Oh! I never tell when you're supposed to mash, but we got it. Whoa! Porno mag! Oh! Oh! He tapped into the speed force. <laughs> the 
there like, we're out of here, man. That guy's got the speed force. Huh? The porn go? Oh, never mind. He's done. Dude, your eyeball just betrayed you. Wire bullets, that's new. What am I shooting at? Above us. Above us? Why? No time to explain, just do it. The heck is a wire bullet? Oh, like a hook shot? Oh, they're all gonna shoot each other. Conveniently, right? What are we gonna connect to a tree or something? Supposed to be a warning shot or something? The bullets shoot out episodes of HBO's The Wire. <laughs> now throw us the gun. Come quiet. I don't want to. Date, do as I told you. Don't you mean surrender? Do it. Do it or we die. Do what? Okay. Oh, lightning's gonna strike the wire. What do you mean? Just watch. You will see. It's funny that they would come to me instead of making me come to them. Like we're surrounded by guns. Hey, works for me. They're all dead. Didn't he say not to kill anyone? Dude, they are dead. Getting hit by lightning while in a in a pond? They are dead. They've been fried. This is like Spider-Man in the Spider-Man game, killing people left and right. Does the little girl know Date is talking to a woman in his eye? She actually doesn't know. She's caught him talking to the eyeball once in a while and she thinks that he's crazy. Most pe people live through being struck by lightning. I think that's just getting struck by lightning though, but if the fact that they were in that pond makes me question. You lied to me again. I have already explained this to you. If you hear the words porno magazine, your reaction speed increases by a factor of 3.6. A rather convenient function of yours. Why wouldn't I take advantage of it? Damn it. How did you know about the lightning? Satellite imagery, atmospheric conditions, and other factors. However, I predicted the lightning would fall elsewhere. So I had you launch wire bullets to direct the lightning to the pond. Hmm. Date has the metaverse in his eye. Oh god. Date just playing VR anyway, chat in his eye the whole time. Where's Mizuki? I will scan Where her. is Mizuki? It like they find her, she was like in the pond as well. Oh, there she is. Mizuki! That's not very chill. Oh my god. Wait for me, I'm coming! Wait, did they gas her again? Do they tear gas her? Sprint it through the rain so garden into the mansion. Not here. I detect trace amounts of capsaicin in the air. Oh, yep. Mizuki appears to be tear gas. No.
I don't think we've ever been inside of this place before. Can't find Mizuki anywhere. Oh, there's her, her famous metal pipe. Mizuki's metal pipe. Speak up, please. What? His voice is so quiet. He is taking Mizuki hostage. Shit! Date, look around. Yeah, let's not fall for Mizuki that. Must be nearby. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Door? Nope. Not yet, but I know there's another room back there. Ah, oh, there they are. There she is, Mizuki. That is so holding her. Son of a bitch is using her as a shield. Why isn't Mizuki fighting back? She does not appear to be conscious. I cannot determine why, but she is breathing. She is alive. I have to do something. Wait, don't move. Remember what So told you. That he can see us somehow. There may be a sensor or something similar in this room. Or I could just shoot him in the head. I would stop that line of thinking. If you shoot now, there is a high chance he will hit Mizuki. Uh, I don't know. He actually has a lot of his body open that she's not covering. Then what am I supposed He's conveniently to holding her like off to the side. Like a dummy. Let me think. Gotta be something we could do. I think we got a good chance. We're a pretty good shot. Let's go for it. Dante, load evolver with spherical bullets. Spherical bullets. Isn't that just what bullets used to look like then, pick up that metal back in the before. olden days? Kind of like mini cannonballs. You need to do two things. First, throw the metal pipe toward the southwest corner of the room. Then, immediately shoot a spherical bullet at the pipe. No questions, there is no time to explain. Are you sure this will work? If you time it correctly, yes. My calculations are never wrong. Okay, if you say so. Are we about to do some whole horse-ish right now? Are you ready? Yeah. Go! This is some oingo boingo whole horse. Pompey. Yup. Wow. I like how they figured that was safer <laughs> than just trying to shoot him normally. Dante! Glad she woke up quick. Mizuki, move! What? Oh, so has the world. What do I do? Shoot so. Protect Mizuki. Oh, wow. Sword, you didn't warn me. Is this like... Should I save right here? Is this uh, another branching path? I'm gonna save just in case.
If you shoot so, you get a mini bad ending. Alright. I was gonna protect Mizuki first, that was kind of my thing, because I figure if you just try to shoot him, then he's gonna probably shoot her. But let's see what that looks like since I saved. Wait, I thought I picked... I threw myself to the left to push Mizuki away, but... Damn, we got shot. No. Impossible. No. No way. Date, no. Don't die. Don't die. Date. That way, how did we get shot? That's weird. Huh. Because we, we picked the option to shoot so, but instead, like, we pushed Mizuki out of the way. It almost feels like a, there was a mix-up there. Right. Now let's reload. Every time I hear that opening for a split second, I think it's the Metal Gear Solid V meme song. Where it's like, uh, or however it goes, I don't remember. Where you skip time by smoking a cigarette. Which I think the Deadly Premonition actually did that first. Funnily enough. All right, now we're gonna get the better ending, hopefully. Damn it. Ooh, that was close. Three D, put on your three D glasses now. Oh. Damn, Iba got hit! Well, we still got shot. But... I'm guessing this time we're gonna be okay, hopefully. Also, hey, Fak. Can't believe it's more Somnium. Oh no, that's next time. Oh, you actually tried to shoot him first, Fak? My instinct was to protect her first, but I wanted to see the bad ending first, just to see what would happen. Pathetic. Wow, he can't do the meme. The pathetic meme. Rude. Killed by your own father. What? By the way, do you like fireworks? You're my father? On top of it? What? Where'd that come from? Or was he talking to her? Let me show you the most beautiful firework you'll ever see. Wow, you're an asshole. But don't blink. It'll only be a flash. Do I shoot so? Uh... Yeah, yeah, that's what I figured. Why wouldn't you, right? Seems like a... Seems like the way to go. How do you like these fireworks? What? Now I'm more wor worried about Iba. Ooh! Right between the eyes. Sorry you had to see that. I just want to go to the cabaret club. 
I'm not even supposed to be here today. <laughs> what? W what? What did you say? Hey, Cabernet quit fooling Club. around. Come on. Dante, get up. Hey. Hey. Well, oh, I see. I could see how you might point at him first and then not realize that there was another option. Date, you better be okay, or you're gonna get it, or she's gonna give you a big punch. I know even the best of us can be taken out of commission by a simple cold, but I always thought Date was above that somehow, like a hero. What do you mean a simple cold? A hero? I d he got blasted in the eye. Heroes are supposed to be invincible. Blast, you didn't help with this. You're the one who made it extra difficult, you know. Even if the odds are stacked against them, something miraculous happens to save them. You play the rest of the game as a ghost. The classic, you better not die or I'll kill you. Exactly. That's what I thought would happen to Date. But instead, here he is. You make it sound like he's dead. <laughs> I know. <laughs> right. Sorry. He is, if you really think about it. Date has an artificial eyeball called an AI ball in his left eye socket. That's exactly where So shot him. So it acted like a kind of shield. So ex that's why I'm concerned if Iba's okay. Because of that, the bullet didn't go through his brain. It saved Date's life. Oh, but she has backups, right? So Iba should be fine no matter what. She always she always has backups, I think. I guess that's the benefit of being a computer. The surgery to remove the bullet was successful, and now all we have to do is wait until Date wakes up. Could have been Peter who ratted him out. That's true, but it was still kind of a bummer that Boss wasn't giving us much support in going after, uh, so... That's what was supposed to happen anyway. Jessica Iba. Exactly. But instead... He's in a coma? But it's a table, more like red tide cable. No rhyming. I'm making myself sad. Remember Date would wake up late at night to watch this one show. It was just a girl running toward the camera in slow motion. I didn't get it at all. I wonder if they still have that show. Isn't that just Baywatch? Wow, so we're actually playing as a character other than Date right now. A bed with my pet lying on it. Date was like a pet cat to me. That's not funny. I, I okay. Ah, uh, idiot. Idiot? No, she said it for me. Perverted old man. Stupid. Well, she's just used to talking to him in insults. Kiko hinting at the secret ghost trick too, route. Uh, hey, Mismo, my favorite anime protagonist. How did you know? About Date's punishment. Don't worry about that. It's true that Date disobeyed direct orders, but that order basically came from So himself. What the? And he's not going to be a problem anymore, is he? Oh. Date won't get reprimanded for this. Oh, good. I thought it was the higher ups that were friend. Well, I guess the whole point was that that So had blackmail on them, so now he can't blackmail them. 
but still, like, damn. So also no longer has his hooks in the MPD. We can finally resume the investigation properly. What the heck did he have on them? All the evidence points to So Sejima. Thanks to Date, I think we can finally close this case. There might even be a promotion waiting for him after I don't this. know, though. Because we still don't... We still don't have a motive. Oh, that's Aiba. Aiba? Yeah, Date's partner. You saw him talk to himself sometimes, right? More like all the time. That was him talking to Aiba. Oh. Oh, he's not crazy. I feel bad now. That's strange. At least not crazy it? in that particular way. The surgery was successful. No EEG abnormalities. But he still hasn't woken up. I think I might know why, but if I'm right, it's nothing any of this medical equipment can fix. He's tired. The problem lies in his soul. His soul? Something's going on in his consciousness. About Date's soul. He's lost somewhere in his own mind. Lost? He doesn't know the way back. Sinking over and over can have this effect. How can he find his way back again? Only one We have to sink with him. <laughs> Maybe. Paging Miss Shizue Kuranushi. Shizue Kuranushi. Is that boss's real name? Please come to the nurse's station. Looks like I gotta go. Wow, now we know her real name. Confirmed. I'll be back as soon as I can. What? While I'm gone, keep talking to Date, okay? You might give him a reason to wake up. See you. Cognitive dissonance, mumbo jumbo. Talk to him. Well, we already oh. called him stupid and an idiot. I mean, what else can we do? We've, we've tried everything. Hey, Date. You're so stupid. You know that? Grade A, first class, king of the idiots. Why did you protect me? It was my own fault. I went into the mansion by myself and then got tear gas sprayed at me by soap. He hit me in the back of the head and I blacked out. This was all my fault. Everything I did was a mistake. But you came to save me. You made me look like an idiot, you know. Oh, wait a minute. I get it. You wanted to scold me, right? After saving me, you're never gonna let me hear the end of it. You suck, Date. Big stupid jerk. I'll just speak honestly last, because I feel like that's gonna be the last Boss's thing. real name is Shizue Kuranushi. Shizue Kuranushi. <laughs> it doesn't fit her at all. Don't you think so, Date? Please, Date. Laugh about it with me. Probably why she goes by boss. Sundering hard right now. Mind powers, insomnia, super strength in the real world. That could be cool. Dante, wake up. Well, they're making a sequel to this game, right? Maybe in that one you could play as Come her. On, wake up. Okay, big brother. You gotta wake up now. You'll be late for school. That's it what you want to hear, right, Dante? You want to be called big brother, don't you? Pardon me? I know you do. I've seen the anime that you watch. Oh. Oh. Date. What are all these things you're letting her hey, find out? Say something. Talk back to me like you always do. Argue with me. Tell me that you have good taste in anime. Date. It's not fun if you don't say anything. All right. Last option. Yeah, oh, fact, you missed another one that happened, like, near the start of the stream. God. Oh, that was actually Boss, though. Boss is the one who said it. She's as, just as bad as Date sometimes. I can't even repeat okay. it. It was just too, Since too lewd. Alone, I'll be honest with you. Earlier, Boss said that you were, like, a hero, right? I think so, too. Deep down... You're a hero to me. You raised me since I was eight. Even when times were hard or you were depressed, you were there for me. 
the past few days, too. After Mom and Daddy, I was trying to act like it didn't bother me, but really, I was just holding it inside, staying quiet, pushing my feelings down. And I just took it. I forced myself to be happy, but inside, it hurt so bad, like I wanted to die. Sad and afraid and alone, my heart was about to break, but, but because you were there, I was able to fight it. You being there helped me be myself. But if you're gone, Date, I... Date, can't you see she needs you to be her punching bag? It's the only way that she's gonna be able to go on, Date. So you need to wake up. Hey, Date, wake up. Come on, wake up! What happened to your promise? You can't tell me you forgot. You promised, Date. We're supposed to eat sushi. Are you gonna break your promise? You're not gonna take me? That's not fair, Date. You liar. And God's a liar, too. I Gee, prayed to oh, jeez. I prayed that you wouldn't get hurt, but... <laughs> Save the game? Yes. Then I'll finish my thought from earlier. There's one way we can bring back Date. Do we have to sink? Someone has to sink into his brain and guide him home. He sinked too many times, putting him into a coma. We must sink him again. <laughs> Someone? Mizuki. I need- Huh? Whoops. Uh, I need a favor. You synced with Date once before. Sorry, I was looking at the chat. Your synchronization levels were extremely high. You two are compatible for sinking. No one is more qualified than you. Please, please save Date. We're just gonna need to rip out your eyeball first. Okay. I'll try. Sinking is different for the subject and the sinker. I thought it was more so just because he's sinking many, many times and most subjects are only synced like once. And that's why it doesn't affect them as much. That's what I figured. So annoying. You told me a thousand times. True. Counting on you. Leave it to me. Date, hold on. She looks kind of like bring you back. like a young Bulma right here. I never really noticed. Are you ready, Mizuki? Yes, I'm ready, hmm. Pokemon villain. Then let's begin. Hey, your wish came true, Fact. We're, we're playing as Mizuki the Sinker. What the heck? She's sure you can into existence. House, but it's in black and white. I just realized because she's not using Iba, so it's just her this time. Usually, when you're Date, you're controlling Iba inside of the. Is this what's inside Date's heart? Inside of the Somnium. Date, where are you hiding? Date. Porridge? This porridge was too cold. This porridge was too hot. Oh, that's not porridge. It's like eggs or something. Ooh, that's a lot of metal locks. Oh, five! 
I think that's the first time there's been five. Date's heart is lost. To bring him back, I need to tell him my true feelings. I think it's full. Is that Stu? Um... Let's give it a sniff. Smells like Date's special stew. It's making me hungry. I'll have Date make me some when he wakes up. So, he has to wake up. Well, let's Is go ahead. Stew? Guess we'll have to eat it if we like it so much. I'll try eating some. Next, you could play Persona 5 and have it be a 100 parts dream series. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Honestly, like this, this length of a game is kind of pushing my max limit when it comes to streaming, I think. In terms of something with like one cohesive story. That is a weird way to hold a spoon and eat a stew. The Did you see that? They always this big? Maybe I was looking at her weird. It looked like she was gripping the whole spoon like in a fist. Me? Why? <laughs> hey, Date! Everyone's waiting for you! Hey! Are you listening? Date? Don't be modest now. This is my special recipe. Eat it while it's hot. I don't know how I did it, but I think it came out pretty good. She's clearly hungry. Yum, yum, yum. The stew was so good, they vanished. Alright, there's one mental luck. This is when I first came to Date's house. Date, what happened? Why this? The desk got colored. Alright, something going over there with the cork board. Date's cork board. This picture, this note. Uh, let's see the note, I guess. I wonder what this note is. Side? Wop? Is this someone's name? A woman? I can't tell. Ugh, useless. Date's handwriting is trash. <laughs> Date's corkboard. It's a picture. A pretty picture of a river. Where is Akikawa Valley? I'd like to go there someday. Okay, I guess we don't want to mess with that. The lease ID and the computer. Date's computer. Throw it, hit it. Get this thing working! Oof. Uh-oh. It's smoking. Uh, maybe it's busted? Better hit it some more. Date! I'm beating up your computer! I can't control myself! Jesus. Hurry! Come stop me. <laughs> Look at this photograph. Five minutes remaining, Mizuki. Date's cork board. Whoops, I meant to look at the police badge. Date's police ID. Hold up, throw it. Throwing stuff has helped in the past, hasn't it? Alright, why don't we try that? Date, get up! Are you crazy? Jeez, what are you doing? It's because you washed your old underwear with my clothes, dummy! Pervert! 
Oh. You gotta be more careful. If I keep this up, I'm not gonna get off with a warning and a pay cut. Apparently that worked. I remember this. Wait, which window opened up? Wait. Oh, a trash can, that's new. A trash can. Smell. Toss something, look closer. Tossing stuff seems to be working. This paper. I'm gonna throw it away, okay? Hope it's not important. How can I get you to react, Dante? There's something about this trash can. A trash can. Uh, I guess we could look closer. Oh, maybe this. Found something you threw away. Hey. Your school announced bring your parents to school day, right? Don't you have to tell Renju and Shoko? Wouldn't matter. Hmm. What should I do? Maybe you should be the parent. Sorry for making you worry about me, Date. Alright, that's three down. Oh no, that's probably the second one. Whoops. That was like a two-parter. The speakers have color now. We gotta hide inside of it. Lift gives a freaking times two. Listen. I'm actually curious about what music might be playing. That's my voice. Mizuki! Mizuki! Hold on! I'll find you! I remember being mad at you because you took so long. But after I saw your face, everything felt better. Yet you still yelled at the poor man. Right, speaker. It's at a rabbit. Are you alright? Ugly. I'm guessing when she saw... First saw it, she said it was ugly. I'm gonna go for it. Add a rabbit is kind of ugly. I mean, at the time I said it was ugly, but. Yes, I knew it. Hmm. I hope this is okay. What if she doesn't like it? I'm home! Mizuki, uh, welcome back. What are you hiding? What's that? This? Oh, uh, I, I wonder. I was just thinking that this place looks awfully empty, right? Look, it's perfect right here. Hmm. <laughs> and it's been there ever since. Ugly. Oh. Dang, that's messed up. Alright, two more. We might just barely be able to pull it off. Bed. It's my bed. It used to be Date's bed. Oof. I'm gonna smell first just to get rid of that times two. And then I'll, I guess I'll try sleep. Cause I know it used to be his and then she started. Doesn't smell like anything. Good. <laughs> yeah, probably for the best. I can't sleep if it smells like Date. Bullying this it's poor man into waking up.
<sighs> Sorry, Date, but I can't sleep anywhere but here. <sighs> Figuring out a dream is tough. What should I do next? Ota would have this cleared in seconds. Ota? Now that I think about it, didn't I used to sleep on that sofa? When did that change? You have three minutes remaining. So be careful. A door. Tackle. Knock. Ah. Locking usually doesn't work in most cases, but I had a feeling here it might. Mizuki, hey. I'm sorry about eating your pudding without asking. I'll buy you another one. Hey, come on, open up. I'm at my limit here. I really have to go. I'm gonna piss my pants. Oh no. Mizuki, seriously, come on. Open the door! Well, we used to sleep there, so let's try sleeping there again. I was sleeping here before, though. Oh. Mom. Daddy. Oh, no. I said that? Moved her to the bed mid sleep. Well, that's nice of him. Gave her the bed. All right, one more. There's color that way now. It looks like sunlight. It's the fridge. Get in. <laughs> Lift? Jesus Christ. Let's try this first. I'll lift once I have a better timey. Unless... I don't do good with tight spaces. And it's cold. It's the fridge. Maybe Dante is flat under this. Oh! Wow! Add a rabbit went totally flat! And disappeared. Dante, what are you trying to tell me? Add a rabbit isn't cursed, right? Hmm. Was that pot always? There's stew in the hmm. pot. Uh oh. Turn up. Turn down for hooked. Paper Dante. Hmm? What? I can't move. Uh oh. Is this sleep paralysis? Oh no. That's not good. Out a rabbit? Out a rabbit? What? Are you doing this? Stop! Please! What do you want? I just wanted Why? you to love me, Nezuki.
Oh no. That almost sounded like a boo laugh. <sighs> Add a rabbit. What does this mean? Add a rabbit's been the real villain all along. You have less than two. Got a minutes. trophy for that? Hurry, Mizuki. Date's coat. Smell. I'm not wearing that. Maybe, but it has a times two on it, so it almost feels like I should do that. Though, in the past I've done a times two, and it's not giving me anything, so I'm not sure. Bar marble. Ugh, that was kind of creepy. Uh, nope, nope, didn't happen. Date's coat. This looks dirty. It smells like him too. We already did smell. Well, I'm not gonna wear it. I don't want to wear your coat, Date. Ah. She tried- he offered it to her? Oh. Thought that was gonna be a flashback. Date's coat. We're cutting it close. No, that's not right. I'll do it when he's wearing it. That's much better. Ah! Hey, I got an extra sweet pudding for little babies. You can have it. Oh! <laughs> Watch your mouth! Nice kick. We're almost there. I didn't look in the fridge. I tried to get into the fridge. This looks new My though. School bag. It's charmed. This is from Ikume Shrine. Ah, like when where he took you to train? Into the shrine. I told you, I don't believe in that stuff. Come on, come on. To leave this boring place as soon as possible. You clap, clap, party. Shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy the rope, clap, clap, Dotty. party. She have to choose. Well, clearly I'm gonna go to the parents. They've they've been way better to me. Oops. You have less than one minute. You have to hurry. Parents. Yeah, screw them. Date? Uh oh, that's not good. Oh. 
Hey, wake up! Everyone is worried about you! You shouldn't come to me. Go be with your parents. What? Wow. Date? Mmm. Would doing it again be pointless? Or would it actually be different a second time? Can't tell. Because usually it's... There's no reason to do the same thing twice. Oh, wasn't it times three before? And now it's times six, so it, it would be different this time, I think. It's too bad I can't use my timies, though. Dante, please, wake up! I am not what you need. Stop shoving. Well, hopefully we have enough, because we barely have enough time to try one more time, I think. Hey! Mizuki, you're out of time! Well, here we go. Hopefully this does it. Dante! Wow, we hit just barely enough. Mizuki. Thank you, Mizuki. Now go be with your parent, pushes her again. <laughs> Oof. I'm glad we just barely had enough to finish that up. We got really lucky there. Dante's now is not the time for hover hands. Oh no, was he doing hover hands? I didn't even notice. I need you to buy me sushi. That's all she really wants. She just wants him to get up so she could have sushi. I can understand. Sushi is pretty good. At first I thought you said bury me in sushi. Dante, I need all the sushi. My parents would never get me sushi. They would limit my sushi intake. What the? How did I get here? Dante! Wow. Hey, why the sudden affection? She because needs you, man. You're so stupid. Huh? <laughs> you're so stupid. I just want to punch you. Welcome back. <laughs> Outer Rabbit grows home. more powerful by the second. Dante. Yeah. I'm home. Yay! And now they're a family. Hello. They may be a strange family, but at least they're a loving family. Oh! We did it. We got three endings this stream. We got the runaway with the receptionist ending. We got the uh, get shot and die ending. 
And now we got to go into a coma, but then break out of the coma ending. So that's it. We got all the endings. Good game. Good stuff. Very, very weird family for sure. Well, now that we're official, whoops. I just wanted to see if it would fast forward at all. I didn't expect it to should have skipped the credits, my bad. I hope I didn't skip anything. Didn't get the Adder Rabbit ending. All oh, right, I always forget that it's not a loading screen. <laughs> Mizuki's route ending would make for a satisfying ending if it didn't leave so many of the mysteries left unsolved. Yeah, they kind of suggest... Oh, look, it's Aiba. She's okay. Like, they kind of suggest So did everything, but that still just seems like... We don't even have a motive for why he would do that, though. So that's definitely something that you would want wrapped up. And I'm sure he wasn't the only one involved. Mr. Bell. Mrs. Bell. You two really do get along. Travis Bell. Hey, Iba. Now that you're in that form, you think you can wiggle your way into that offering box? Certainly. I go to the money box, you go to jail. <laughs> Is that acceptable? I guess not. Dog statue. I hate lampreys. You aren't good with seafood, are you? Yet she likes sushi. Oh, that's right. She gets all the non seafood sushi, which is so funny to me. Like, yeah, technically, sushi really is just any variety of things wrapped in rice. What's it, say? it just tends to mostly be fish. What is most precious to you is not in the distance, it is right beside you. That's what it says. Well, that was the nicest one so far. That's actually really nice. Yeah. But it's still funny that she would... ...go to sushi just to eat. Hey, this reminds me. You made me look like an idiot, Date! I visited the shrine with my friends, and I started washing my belly button. <laughs> oh no! They all laughed at me! Oh no! I wanted to push you off a bridge. Tate, you never elaborated that you were joking. Honestly, the Mizuki... Oh, yeah, I already read that. They got the same surname? It's not illegal if I'm a god. Why do these arches always have birds on them? Good question. Wait, who has Once the same surname? Time, when Amaterasu the Great looked down from heaven, he wanted to... Whoops. <sighs> hey, you're the one who asked. Do, 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 do. Talk to him. No point talking to myself. Let's not. Why not? It'll look like I'm going- oh yeah, this time it really will look like he's going crazy because there's no Iba in his eye, so there's no excuse anymore. Therefore, you need to talk to yourself because it'll be really funny. Hey, me. Let's play a rhyming game. You're on. I'll start. Thick. Tits. Oh! That doesn't really... Lips. Kind of like a slant rhyme at most. Hips. Oh boy. You're really sticking to one subject there. Are you certain he was cleared to leave the hospital? Ooh. 
Who is this guy? It's Tate, I had to say it. I was looking at a gorgeous man. Okay. Oh wait, we could talk to Iba too. Why are you on her shoulder? It is more comfortable than your eye socket. You can sit here anytime you want, okay? Just hide if you see someone coming. The world's not ready for you. I do not believe in the existence of God. You're right, he's in this religious, sacred place and he's just like, hips, thick. Yeah. But, being that we are at a shrine, I felt it necessary to go with the tradition. What did you pray for, Date? I didn't ask for anything. I just said thank you. Aww. Thank you for saving my life. Pardon me, I believe there is a misunderstanding. It was I who saved your life, not God. It was I, get it? I? I was the one who stopped the bullet. Did this give, uh, the, this near-death experience make Date religious? That was completely by chance. Wait, do you even remember that? I do. Everything that I see is uploaded to the cloud, all wirelessly, in real time. Even if my body is totally destroyed, my data is backed up and never lost. So all of those weird videos Date watched online. That includes my memories, as well as my central mm. programming, which governs my artificial intelligence. Though, I do not have any information from after being shot. Don't think I've seen many of those arches that are white. I've only seen red ones. White ones are usually older ones that predate the arrival of Buddhism in Japan. Mmm. Do you know what Date said right before he lost consciousness? No. What did he say? I said, Azuki, I'm so glad that you're safe. No, you didn't. You were moaning about wanting to go to a cabaret club. <laughs> I remember that, actually. That sounds like Date. About so. There's one thing I haven't told you yet, Date. He said it was... You were, he was Date's dad, right? Five days after the first incident, on Tuesday, I think, I saw So on my way home from the police station. What? Where? I was getting dropped off at home. Was he alone? No. Someone was walking next to him. It was Boss. My homeroom teacher. Homeroom teacher? What? She's also my mom's oh. best friend. Oh. It's a long story. I'll tell you later. Are they not talking about Iris's mom? No, tell me now. I don't want to. <laughs> Why not? Because I'm hungry. Because this game likes doing that a lot where they start telling you something and then they get interrupted or stop and they're like, I'll tell you the rest later. I'll tell you over food. What did you pray for? That you die soon so that I can collect your life insurance money. Wow. He wouldn't get a dime. <laughs> wow. Oto was discharged from the hospital. He's doing fine. Iris is still in the hospital, though. I heard. I hope she gets better soon. Yeah. Interesting how in one storyline you're with Iris for so much and not nearly as much with Mizuki and then the other one you're like way more focused on Mizuki. Them talking about being hungry reminds me, Jay, I'm hungry. <sighs> Look what you did, Mizuki. You just had to say that, didn't you? The case has been settled. So Sejima was confirmed to be the new Cyclops killer. Really? No crimes similar to the MO of the Cyclops killer have been reported since Sosajima died. You're sure he had no accomplices? But we still don't know his motive. Yeah, and that too. Why were those three chosen as targets? And why hollow out the left eye? It is the opinion of the lead investigators that that behavior was simply the result of So's sadistic, sociopathic nature. I don't buy it. I agree. Oh. Sorry, Mizuki. No, it's fine. Mm.
Let's get going. Right, let's go. For sushi. Oh, wait a minute. You haven't said it yet. Said what? Thank you for saving your life. <laughs> wait, what? I don't recall hearing a thank you from you. We either. saved your life, Missy. You just saved us from coma. I saved your life before too, you know. Well, fine. You don't have to say it. I know that you love me. Oh. Who said anything about loving you? Oh. Oh, you don't remember? When we were at So's, you were saying, Mizuki! Mizuki! You sounded really concerned. I wasn't saying Mizuki. I was saying my new skis. Yeah, I was thinking about hitting the slopes later. Right. Nice cover. Date, you're a total tsundere. Oh, God. A tsundere. One who appears cold or hostile initially, but eventually shows a warm or friendly side. That describes Date perfectly. I don't know if that describes him perfectly. He's a lot weirder than just saying he's a cinder. I don't want to hear it coming from you two. What? What do you mean? They really don't see it, huh? Doesn't matter. Let's get going. Where? Sushi. You know. You know. We're gonna go eat that terrible sushi you love. There we go. Really? Yay! Sushi, sushi, sushi. I made it out of clay. Sorry, tell you what. We can go to All You Can Eat Sushi. Deal? Mizuki route. Egg. Wait a minute, I don't think I got a iris route end, did I? Also, did, did that count as two endings right there? I thought we already saw end. Time to save. Yeah, we, I don't think we got an iris route end. We just got iris just getting murdered and then it ended like that oh i did they're just not all named after the character okay gotcha i don't remember it being named at all but maybe i just forgot which is possible also does anyone know the difference between begin investigation and reopen investigation I wish they would explain that. Well, now we're, would I go here? Like, what would be the next split that I'm supposed to do? Here, maybe? It looks like there's three different split points. I got an iris right in, but it was like a bad end, right? I don't think I got like the end end. Reopen lets you select a more specific point. Ah, okay. There's no specific one that you think I should do first. Is there a, a hint on how I would get to it? So I would have to start here, right? It looks like it's in the middle of a sink. Beck says recommend bottom left. Okay. Oh, this is freaking inside of Oda, right? Wasn't it like there's a green desk and a red desk? I don't exactly remember which desk I picked, but I know I need to pick whatever one I didn't pick. God. It's like the HD version of Sly all over again. Alright, so first we need to get rid of the icy floor. The ice on the floor. I believe we jumped on. Damn, that's a lot of time. Jeez, is there another thing we could do first? No? 
Oh, the door. I don't remember just taking up that much time right at the start. The door. Wow, all of these take a bunch of time. Okay, I guess we have no choice. The ice on the floor is slick. All right, Mizbo, you have a good one. Thank you for dropping in. The Orthodox method. Okay, we want him to go to the green shelf. Gotcha. <laughs> And the green shelf. Th See, I thought this was the green shelf because it was like glowing green, but I guess that kind of threw me off. But this is the green shelf I wants me to go to, right? So one of these plates has to be something. Breathe on it costs 200. Wowie. Okay. But then. Something strange happened. What's happening? Oh, that's bright. What is See? this? I know, but I got confused because it was glowing green and I'm so tiny that it kind of looked shelf-like. Did I just pick the right one on my first try? I really hope they address the fact that he's using Oda's mom's knife, which he should also recognize since he gifted it to her. <laughs> okay. If this was another, I would have died already. Next time, he will get me. It's just destiny. This was another. I think it's it's such a specific knife that even me who like sometimes can miss details when I'm like overwhelmed by a lot of things But even I noticed it. We have to make hero of justice Ota fight back. Look cool doing it It's like if sword pulled out their signature radish and was thwacking you with it while in disguise and you're like wait a minute that's sword signature radish Anyway, move the wooden box. Ah, so that that's what we, we need the machine for now, I'm guessing. Uh... I think Soiree was working right last time, we just didn't have a use for it last time. What? Now we do. There we go. It's funny, I happened to do that lo the first time, but I didn't have a box there. You have a signature radish? I mean, I'm just guessing. You seem like the type that would have that. Oh, sorry, sorty. Did he really help Iris like that? We have no choice but to have Ota do it. We need him to stand up. Okay, Braveheart disarm the foe. Okay, how are we gonna get him to disarm the foe? We just gotta Ota is still down. Um What did we do last time? Cheer? I feel like we cheered last time. Oh, this is, might be a waste, but whatever, we'll just use it. Ota will feel the worth of Iris's peace when he grasps it. The ghost inside me whispered. <laughs> That's right. I can't run away now. Such a nerd. I can't sacrifice Tessa. Awaken the soul. Ooh. 
The knife. Why? This time he sees it. Wow, is this the type of alternate, like, us solving the dream actually changed the whole sequence of events as well? Henshin a go-go, baby. I didn't know what Henshin was when I first played Beautiful Joe because I was pretty young. And I wasn't versed enough in uh, anime. This time there's no blood from the suspect. It's all Oda's blood. But this time Oda saw the knife. So I'm, st I'm thinking in this version, it was Oda's mom in the costume instead of so... This is just a dream world. This is, isn't literally what happened. Oh, uh, okay. But they literally did have... But last time, literally, the crane hit the suspect and made them bleed. But this time, that didn't happen. So does it mean that... So the suspect did bleed, but we just don't know that this time? Is that what you're saying? Sorry that I had to get rough with you, kid. Seriously, dude? Come on. So sorry, Ota. Date told me to be the bad cop. I did not. Temper, temper. Whatever. Anyway, Ota, I have some things I want to ask you. I'm not going to beat around the bush. Let me get right down to it. Your mother, Mayumi Matsushita, was at the warehouse, wasn't she? Oh, uh, what are you talking about? Uh uh. Was she there? Why would she be? That happened at 3 a.m. She was at home asleep. Then why did we find evidence at the crime scene? Evidence? Sure, it might not prove she was there, but it makes it likely. The evidence is. Didn't we find a candy? But that's not exactly proving that it was her though. This is more likely. It isn't relevant? Her knife? Okay, I'm sure we have to use that for something else, but this is kind of funny that that's not relevant. I guess we do want this then. Mayumi Matsushita's fingerprint. Mayumi right. purchased the chocolate. Right, right. Purchase was made Sorry. at the I meant to just located. show. The Hodoroki Man chocolate. The same one I showed you at the hospital. I found it in the corner of the cold storage warehouse. So? That doesn't prove anything. Mayumi's fingerprints were on the package. Dun dun dun. What? You have a bad poker face, Ota. Your reaction tells me Mayumi didn't give this to you and you dropped it on your own. That information is confirmed. Ota's fingerprints were not found on the package. Mom isn't the killer! I didn't say that she was. I'm saying that she was at the scene. Wait a minute. Why do you think Mayumi isn't the killer, Ota? Because I was face to face with that polar bear when we fought. I could tell it wasn't my mom even through the costume. And no matter what happened, there's no way that my mom would stab me. It is true though, like if you're, if you're familiar enough with the person, you will be able to recognize their general like profile and like body language. Why are you covering for her? Covering? That's why you're lying to me, right? I'm not! Are you sure about that? You must have seen direct evidence of Mayumi being at the warehouse, but you're hiding that from us. Or maybe even you're starting to suspect her. I am uh -oh. not! Sure. What are you accusing me of anyway? What do you think I'm hiding? Well, clearly, Ota's mom was on So's shoulders and they were double teaming. I think you're hiding this. The kitchen knife with a floral pattern. Mom, I love you always is carved on the handle. Ota gave me she was on stilts. Day when he was in elementary school. He knows how much I love flowery designs. You were stabbed by that very same knife. How do you know that? The criminal ran away with the knife. No one was supposed to see it. I knew it. No, my mom didn't do it. 
Then why did you not mention the kitchen knife earlier? Because I know how it looks. I thought mom would get accused. And then she would have been brought in here and interrogated. I didn't want to put her through that. And... Oh no, it's my East Coast birthday. Well, thank you. I'm kind of at that age where I, I'm like, okay, birthdays can stop now, please, no more. But thank you, I appreciate it. Mom never liked Tessa. So maybe, just maybe, Mom hired someone to kill Tessa. Uh oh. And she gave them that kitchen knife. Uh oh. I don't know. I thought of it that way. <laughs> like that would ever happen. I know it sounds crazy, but after I saw that knife, I just lost it. Hmm. Please, you have to believe me. Mom isn't a serial killer. Yeah, I agree. You do? I do. I don't think it's possible for Mayumi to have kidnapped Iris. Because... Because... Let's see... Streaming equipment... She probably doesn't know anything about... It's also the two cars... Oh, I thought maybe because she doesn't know how to use. It's just this and this then. That's not it? Or did they want me to do the car with the streaming equipment now? Uh, for sure. Oh. I thought because we used the, the chocolate Matsushita's already. The van was stolen from the parking lot of the Femista while Iris was in the car. Thank you, Donga. I appreciate it. I like how Fak and Donga are like, happy early birthday, and then Sword's like, I'm hungry. Okay, I am hungry. That was yesterday, 10.32 p.m. One minute later at the 8.12, which was about 100 yards away, Mayumi bought the Odoroki man chocolate. Ah, she entered. She has an alibi. Minute. This was all caught on security cameras at the store. That means it's impossible that Mayumi could have taken the van. And that means that Mayumi being the polar bear is also next to impossible. Phew. Unless there was more than one person. However, I can't completely clear her. What? You said it yourself. She could have hired someone to commit the crime. But that was... In any case... I Maybe you shouldn't have said that, Oda. I hadn't thought of that myself. I need to hear her explain the chocolate, the knife. There's a lot to cover. Oof. I didn't see what Fak uh, said right now. Was, was it a spoiler? Also, Sword said, I'll wish you happy birthday once it actually is for you. To Matsushita Diner. What? That's fair. Hey, hey well, wait a minute. Don't worry. I'm not going there to arrest her. I'm going there to clear her of suspicion. Really? Yes. You won't arrest her? Your mother wouldn't kill anyone. Have you considered getting sword food as a birthday present for you? Now how would that be a birthday present for me? Thank you, Date. What kind of upside down world are you living in? Oh, you like worded it wrong. Man, we know that you're the murderer. Sorry for the late night, Miss Matsushita, but I have some questions I need to ask you. Could you spare some time? I finally remembered. Uh uh. About the warehouse. What? I did it. I did everything. Oh. Sword would stop saying they're hungry. The greatest gift of all, transient peace. You might have a point there. Did you guys hear that? I didn't do this last night because I wanted to give you a chance to calm down. How are you, now that you've slept on it? What are you talking about? 
Oh gosh. Don't you remember she has dementia? You should have let her talk when she was somewhat lucid. I'll be honest. I don't think you're the killer. You're giving us a false confession. No, it's true. I kidnapped that witch. I took her to the warehouse and put her on the table and pulled her eyeball out. Yes. <laughs> Huh, who would she be covering for? In the polar bear costume? I bought it through mail order. And you were the one wearing it? Yes, that's right. Date, the criminal has confessed. Arrest her immediately. <laughs> Does she have a shirt that says hipster? I just realized. You got to the top of the abyss acting like that. I heard that she used to be an actress. Sounds about right. Haha. <laughs> right. Camera. Other camera. Disc. Mirror. Mirror. Uh, okay. Oh, you can select these options using this too. Why did you kidnap Iris? My son is under that witch's spell. Merchandise, concerts. She's bleeding him dry. This is true. I wanted to snap him out of it. I wanted to save him. The Dateisms are rubbing off on Jay. I really hope not. I don't think he he should be influencing me. Why do you want to stream it online? Because the world needs to see that witch die. Just a quick question, Mayumi. Do you know anything about online streaming? I'm not stupid. I might be old, but... Could you explain it to me? Huh? Huh? <laughs> step by step. Just tell me what you did. I, I can't explain it in words. It's more like... muscle memory. I was able to get it working after trying a few times, that's all. Oh, the me roar. Like anyone could have said that. It, well, it's a common phrase, you really. You were in the polar bear costume, right? Well, that means you stabbed him. Yes, I, I stabbed him with the knife I brought from home. I, I, I wasn't trying to hurt him. He fought me, and then it just. Because I... I just hated her so much. Killing her wasn't enough. I picked them out of the garbage. What? Which garbage? I... I don't remember. It's true. I planned the whole thing. What do you know about the Cyclops killer? We call the criminal we're after the new Cyclops killer. I know. They killed Shoko Nadami and Renju Okura. That's right. Both corpses were found with their left eye pulled out. Same as Iris. This leads us to believe that the crimes were all committed by the same person. Mm -hmm. So this person in the polar bear costume, they are the new Cyclops killer. And you're telling me that person is you? You killed Choco and Renju? Yes, I killed them. And I do it again, too. Why are you lying? I am not lying. You do know that perjury is a crime, right? I'm telling you, I'm not lying. I killed Shoko and Renju, and I tried to cut that demon witch in half. Isn't Rinju Okura the president of that awful company where the witch works? He's just as responsible. Using her to steal time and money from vulnerable kids. And I'm sure he was debaucherous and degenerate. That man is the root of all evil. That's why I killed him. And what about Shoko? Rinju's ex-wife, right? I did it to get to him. But the two divorced four years ago. That, that doesn't 
matter? The bonds of matrimony are eternal. In your opinion, I don't think Renju felt the same way. <laughs> you are really starting to aggravate me. I answered your questions, so there. Well, I don't remember. <laughs> That's a convenient answer. What do you mean you don't remember? Do you really think that lie is going to work? Uh, I have a memory disorder. True. I don't always remember everything. It's not my fault. But you remember the cold storage warehouse. There are times I remember and times I don't remember. Shoko has a very long neck. She does, it doesn't ages. she? Date, Mayumi is not lying about that in particular. There are circumstances that might cause selective memory. For whatever reason, her memory might not have been stored properly in her mind. This is not uncharacteristic for those suffering from dementia. Date, there's no point in letting this go on. She's clearly lying. You seemed convinced earlier. I was kidding. I don't think she's the killer. I am the killer! I am! Right now, we have to rely on hard evidence. The Odoroki Man chocolate that Mayumi bought was found at the warehouse. If Mayumi was at the scene before Ota... She may have seen the criminal's face. You know what I'm going to say, right? Date, sync with her. Ooh, that's interesting. What's going to be in her brain? I wonder if there's, it's going to... If they're going to um, represent her memory problems at all inside of the Somnium. Like, are there just going to be blank spots or blurry spots or something? Computer, we're going to sync with Mayumi Matsushita. Prepare the machine. Um, well... Uh, what happened? The sync machine is in operating what? capacity. Don't tease me like that. Yesterday, sync. Well, suffice to say, uh, Ota and Date were not too compatible. Compatible? I'll give you the big picture. To get the synchronization working properly, I had to push the machine pretty hard. And now, it's not responding. Or he's lying and he's also covering for something. How long will it take to fix? Uh, 16 hours. At least. You've got eight. But that's impossible. So we can't sink yet, huh? But we need to, or this investigation is going nowhere. Date, I suggest mm. we go to Matsushita Diner. We may be able to find some clues. Good idea. Pewter would never lie. Of course not. Pewter, we're counting on you for those repairs. I'll be back in six hours. But you said eight. Please, you have <laughs> to give me at least eight. That pewter, always so humble. He'll have it done in six. Yeah, pewter is just that kind of guy, you know? Hey, this is a hostile work environment. If there's one thing I've learned in this game is not to trust the characters that are dressed up like weebs. Why would Mayumi lie? She is probably protecting someone. But who? Surely you know by now. There is only one person Mayumi would want to protect that badly. Who is Mayumi covering for? The dashboard. Is the killer? Last night, Ota left Matsushita Diner with Iris. Mayumi saw the whole thing. But Ota was stabbed in the stomach by the culprit. Does Mayumi not remember that? No, that isn't quite it. It is possible that she thinks Ota is responsible for everything. She thinks Ota stabbed himself? Yes. Why would he do that? Before I explain, I would like to hear your thoughts. What do you think about the possibility that Ota is the new Cyclops killer? Impossible. Why? Mm. 
Iris had her eye taken out. So like you'd think, okay, he doesn't want to hurt Iris, but maybe he's that crazy that he wants her eye, you know, next to all his little ace set figurines. The dream was a dream, so anything could happen. The van being stolen, that's probably the thing that's... The van was stolen while Iris was in the passenger seat. Right. We know that whoever did it is the culprit we're looking for. There is a chance that Iris was not in the passenger seat. She could have been driving. How so? Iris could have taken the wheel herself and driven to the warehouse. But forensics only found Ota's fingerprints on the wheel. That can be explained. It is possible that Iris covered her fingertips with her sleeves. Well, why would she do that? That seems like going out on a limb there. So weird when they're having these very serious discussions and this happy idle cycle of the character and a void pops up for reference. Yeah. I notice that sometimes where like the character says something where maybe they, they're smiling and they shouldn't be, or they're frowning and they shouldn't be. Ota would never do that. Have you considered that she pulled it out herself? What? Or even asked Ota to do it. Perhaps she ordered him to. But why though? What's the motive for that? In yesterday's Somnium, Ota and the polar bear. That was just a dream. It doesn't necessarily reflect what happened in reality. In short, Ota and Iris are accomplices. This was all a performance. And you're just guessing this, or do you have evidence? Performance? Iris drove the Matsushita's van. Ota drove the station wagon. They went to the warehouse separately. Then, they prepared the live stream. Iris anesthetized her left eye and removed it. Either that, or she asked Ota to extract it. After that, Iris took her position on the table, and Ota donned the polar bear costume and started the saw. Consider this. Consider this. The polar bear is three In times stream, bigger than Ota. Ota. And the polar bear were never on screen at the same time. Uh huh. True. That means Ota went off camera, took off the costume, and then. Stay away from Tessa! Perhaps Mayumi witnessed the entire event. It is also possible that Mayumi knew what the two were up to. So she lied to protect Ota. You did say that um, Tessa whispered something to the mom, but how would she be able to explain all that yes. so quickly? But this is only a theory. Kind of elaborate. Consider the possibility that Iris killed Shoko and Renju. Then, this whole thing was to get her off the suspects list. Okay, at least there's a motive there now. That's why she pulled out her eye and had Ota stab himself. That's a lot. It makes it look like there's another criminal involved. I will repeat myself in saying that this is only a theory. It is one of many possibilities. It's possible, but I don't think it's very likely. They wouldn't go that far just to avoid suspicion. Date, you must consider the mental state of the serial killer. Shoko and Renju were both exposed and displayed. And they both had their left eye removed while they were still alive. Whoever our killer is, it is clear that they are sociopathic or even psychotic. We can't rule anything out. Hmm. I think Mizuki did it. Ota? Uh -oh. Why are you? Does she be in the hospital? You arrest mom! You said you were gonna clear her! My god, he's so tiny.
Usually when it's more serious moments, they don't really comment on things in the room, huh? So... Probably just focus on that. Really. At least they know not to make jokes in, like, certain moments. They, they hold off on the jokes, at least. Um... He doesn't look very happy. Okay? How could I be okay? I got stabbed by a serial killer! Easy, kid. You're gonna open up your stitches. <laughs> so worried that my stomach is in knots. The surgery was successful, but they told me she isn't out of the ICU yet. When I was in the hospital, the police came to me. They told me that my mom confessed. I couldn't believe it, so I went to the police station. But because she was under investigation, they wouldn't let me see her. After that, I didn't feel like going back to the hospital. That's why I'm here. You asked me why your mom was arrested earlier, but she isn't under arrest. What? I spoke with her as part of my investigation, yes. But as a source of valuable information, not as a suspect. Mayumi confessed. But it's highly likely that she's lying, so we haven't issued a warrant for her arrest. That's what I've been saying! Mom didn't do it, she's innocent! Word is going around. Maybe Iris was the one who killed Shoko and Renju. And you and her planned this warehouse incident to get her off our suspects list. No way! Tessa... had her eye... She could have pulled it out herself, or asked you to do it. You're kidding me, right? Do you really think I would do that? I was fighting for my life against the criminal. That wasn't caught on camera, though. Neither was the part where you got stabbed. You're saying that I stabbed myself? It wouldn't be the first time you fake something, would it, Ota? Ooh. You... I'm telling you, I didn't! Then why is Mayumi protecting you? Mom is protecting me? Your mother is stubborn. She's lying to us because she's protecting someone. The only person I can think of would be you. Why? Apparently she thinks that you're the criminal. Why would she think that? Your guess is as good as mine. Got any ideas? Maybe because of her condition. Mom has... dementia. Maybe her memory is just mixed up. Everything is my fault. It's because of me that Mom is... I know how it looks now, but back in the day, the diner was doing pretty good. You know Bloom Park is close by here, right? People who visited the park would stop here. Yeah, I remember. And then the explosion. Yeah, we're just because and then Bloom this Park people closed. People stopped showing diner. up. I remember this. When this place closed. Dad started working at a Chinese restaurant chain during the day, and he was a security guard and traffic cop at night. Wow. He worked as a janitor. They were both working hard and barely got any sleep. And you? I was just a high school student at the time. I was such a dumbass. I thought it was totally normal to have both parents working, so I didn't even get a part-time job. And they bought me a PC and idol concert tickets. I had it good. We were drowning in debt. Damn. How common is that for? Cause you, cause for usually if like both parents are working, then that's usually households doing okay, There's right? Alone on the house and the diner. Mom and dad didn't let this place go. Unless you have like a really like expensive lifestyle, I guess. Are too many memories here to give it up so they slaved day and night to keep it open they worked and worked and worked thanks to them i was even able to go to a good university i guess because they had their restaurant which was failing but they really didn't want to just give up on it i guess that could have been eating up a lot of money right after i started death passed away yeah he had a heart attack but even then, I didn't get it, you know? I didn't appreciate how hard they worked for me. Even when I wasn't taking college seriously and getting bad grades, my mom didn't say a thing. 
She just smiled and told me that it was okay. Even when I told her I was going to drop out. Uh-oh. Mom, I'm thinking of dropping out of college. What? Why do you want to do that, Ota? I decided that I'm going to become a writer. Wow. A writer? Well, that's a good goal to have. You know, Ota, you can do both, though. But you really should finish college. You work so hard to get in. <sighs> you don't understand, Mom. A writer has to put all of their time into their creativity. I won't have time to go to classes. Plus, I'm friends with the editor of a publishing company. I'm definitely going to have my first book published. Is that right? Well, Ota, if you say so, I won't stop you. Do what makes you happy. You'll turn out just fine. I know you can. Such a supportive mother. And no matter what happens, Mom will always be on your side, okay? Forever and ever. I'll always support you, Ota. Oh. Yeah. How do you guess? Because you lie about everything, Ota. It was really just a few texts back and forth. I was thrilled. I thought I could make it as a writer because of that. But it's impossible. I know there's no way I can be a writer. I've never even finished writing a novel. Not even once. I always give up after the first 5,000 words. To even apply for the amateurs contest, you have to submit 10 times that. But mom, she still, she kept supporting me. Meanwhile, his Sonic fanfiction is at a hundred thousand words. Not long after I quit college, Mom was always smiling at me. But I think she was starting to slip mentally. One day... Oh, what's wrong, Ota? Do you have the day off from school? Are you being sarcastic? Oh. Right. You don't attend anymore. Oopsie. I totally forgot. How can you forget your own son's career choice? Sorry. Sorry. Anyway, are you hungry? You haven't eaten anything since this morning, have you? Are you kidding? What? I ate breakfast and lunch already. Oh, did you? Uh, by the way, Ota, what's living at the dorms like? Why are you making fun of me? I'm not teasing you, honey. Don't fuck with me! Oh no. Wow, that's almost as long as your Sonic fanfic, J. Oh god, no. <laughs> ah, chili dogs. With my own OC self insert, Jay the Hedgehog, who's twice as fast as Sonic, but he also has Knuckles' gliding abilities and tells. Uh, a scientific prowess. Prowess? Prower? Oh god. I'm cut sick because I'm such a piece of shit. I was only thinking about myself. It was so stupid, I didn't realize she was sick. I thought she was messing with me. I was so cruel to her for no reason. Then she got worse and worse. Um, Oh well. What's that picture? Family portrait. Looking at this photo reminds me. One time, when I was a kid, I said something really bad to Mom and Dad. And they scolded me for it. And it's not like it was an apology or anything. But Dad and I gave her a Mother's Day gift. My mom was so happy that she cried. That's what this photo is from. <laughs> Why did it turn out like this? I'm such a bad son. Dang. Hey, I've... Now that's remorse if I've ever heard it. What is it? I don't like Ota one bit. <laughs> but I can't imagine that this guy's the criminal. Why is that? Hearing his story made me think that he's not such a bad guy. Your presumption is illogical. Human beings are illogical. 
We're not like you AI. We can't be logical all the time. But we make up for it in one very important way. Heart. What is that? Intuition. Oh. Intuition. Do you find that useful? At times. The other fifth Captain Planet ability. Hmm. Iba, let's go back to the cold storage warehouse. Fire. Water. Earth. Wind. Intuition. We might be missing something. <sighs> Understood. What time is it? I mm, could probably go a little bit longer. I don't think I was 100% logical. Definitely not. Date, weren't you going to check the warehouse? I was, but a thought occurred to me. Maybe we'll see so outside. Are you sure that Ota took this car? As I've already explained, the security cameras at the Famisto parking lot saw Famisto. the entire incident clearly. <laughs> so it was definitely Ota who drove it here. Yo, wait, you're saying if they left out one of the Captain Planet kids, they would just make a cool robot? Pretty much. Why are you stating the obvious? Well, I think they tried forming Captain Planet without heart and like something went wrong. Iba. What's in this box? Your favorite kind of reading material. And a but don't lot quote of me it. on that. I'm not exactly a Captain Planet Have expert. You done research? No. The kind that features gratuitous nudity. I just remember occasionally catching an episode. Hi. You say strange things sometimes. Drumming drumming mom? Date, look! A tongue fish on the ocean floor! What's a tongue fish? A flat fish, like the sole of a shoe. You can see all the way down there? Of course I can. My vision and my looks are my best qualities. Well, you are a giant eyeball. Well, maybe not giant, but compared to the rest of your body. Just like my you know what. Oh. Uh, what is your you know what? It could only be one thing. Oh, your ego? <laughs> no, not my ego. <laughs> uh. Iba, who drove the van here? There are two possibilities. Either Iris, or the criminal who kidnapped Iris. And Mayumi? Considering the time that she purchased the chocolate, that would be almost impossible. The van was hijacked from the Famisto parking lot Famisto. at 10.32 p.m. At that time, Mayumi was in the 812 convenience store more than 100 yards away. We found the chocolate Mayumi bought on the floor of the cold storage warehouse. But that doesn't prove she was actually at the scene. If she was, how did she get here? She wasn't in the van or the station wagon. Of course! A different car. I will search for all vehicles that were in this area from Sunday night to Monday morning. Ooh! The end system server. Does Neocortex own that? Found one hit. A taxi. Where's that taxi now? It is parked in Lemniscate's parking lot. Of course it is. Lemniscate? Why? Unknown, but we should speak with the driver immediately. Seems legit. Got a minute? Who the heck is that? The dr oh, the driver? Hmm. Are you talking to moi? Wow, we're actually seeing a new character. Like, I feel like we haven't seen a new character in forever. It's always been like the same people. Moi? Date, now is not the time to be distracted by this old man's diction. Mind if I ask you what you're doing here? Moi? I am but a humble taxi cab driver. There we go. I am but the Cyclops killer. Wait. I'm with the police. I have some questions for you. Oh, 
Have you taken note of the painting? It is titled Lions Fishing Carpe Diem. <laughs> okay. Silver King. <gasps> Don't. Oh, that's an Aqua Teen Hunger Force reference. You know. Everyone knows it's playing on that except you, Dante. Feature. Anyone can run a pyramid scheme. I believe I'll purchase that on my way home. I like how someone always has a magazine they want to take home. What the heck's that on the floor? It's like a coin or something. It's just a common joke phrase. Stool. It's like a tall seat. Why are you stating the obvious? Hey, you do that sometimes too, Ivo. I mean, I guess that's the first place I heard it was Aqua Teen Hunger first, and that was like pretty, pretty old episode. We're gonna talk to her from all the way over here. Okay, I'm glad they acknowledged that. I walked closer to the receptionist. You asked me out before, didn't you? But it's kind of complicated. I told you, I am reptilian. But you were just joking, right? No, I'm serious. I only eat vegetables. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Well, I thought she was just being quirky. No, she's just... <laughs> Oof. Weird how that one was right next to the cryptocurrency magazine. I am fairly sure she I was thinking that too vegetarian. when I saw the pyramid scheme thing. Are we gonna have to... Whoa! Oops. Are we gonna have to move closer to her for every... thing? Finally, someone dumber than Date. They're perfect for each other. Seriously, can you not? What if I'm next? Freaks me out. Date, could you introduce me to some big, strong man who can protect me? Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine on your own. No, I'll totally die. I like how we're supposed to be interviewing this guy for this murder case and we just keep talking to the receptionist. We keep getting up and walking over to the receptionist. <laughs> and then walking what? back. You gotta come closer. Well, what can I say, you know? The biz is harsh, schedules are tight. If we shut down for even a date, we'd throw everyone else's schedules off. So they want to avoid that, of course. Oh, Date. What are you doing here? I have just finished conveying my client from Tameke Sano's studio. I was informed that the visit here would be brief, and thus I have decided to wait in this lobby. Why does he sound like this? Got a picture with Yubi for Abyss. Did you drive this passenger on Sunday night? Ooh, I did indeed. I remember her well. Uh oh. Hag. Whoa, oh, that's hag. rude. I took her on a tour of the streets of Tokyo. Our ultimate destination was the warehouse district in Ariake. Why didn't you report this to the police? Report it? You don't know about the incident at the cold storage warehouse? It was all over the news. No, I'm afraid not. Newspapers and television news programs have never been much of an interest to moi. Where are you from? That's a good question. I was born in Kawago, Saitama. Okay. Why do you talk like that? Yeah. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> okay. I've spoken this way all my life. All I right. can't speak with the same vernacular. All right, Stanley Parable boy. Hmm. I recall 
recall it was around 10 in the evening. Near the Kabasaki district, an unassuming restaurant named Matsushita Diner. That's where I picked up the old hag. And as soon as she stepped foot in my conveyance, she was already barking orders at me. Follow that van, hurry! I must admit, I found it rather exciting. <laughs> Just like an old chase. Follow that van. I, of course, insisted that I be paid up front. We pursued the van for roughly half an hour. Suddenly, the van came to a halt at a convenience store. There's a big difference between I t gave her a tour of Tokyo and we were chasing a van. The Famisto along Kosho, right? Precisely right. I am surprised you know that. In any case, I knew that the jig would be up if we were seen following the van. So I decided to drive past it. I parked at the 8th store, but 100 yards from there, while waiting for the object of our pursuit to make its next move. The old hag suddenly spoke up. I have to buy something, she declared, then made her way into the 8th. This must be when Mayumi bought the Odoroki Man chocolate. A few minutes later, the old hag finished making her purchases and walked out. It's so mean you keep calling her and that. And then, at that very moment, I witnessed the van jet off at great speed down Koshu. I hurried the old hag inside my vehicle, then resumed the chase. We followed them for roughly half an hour more. I see. If the driver's story is correct, Mayumi did not know that Oto was left behind at the Famisto. Mayumi thought Oto was in the van the whole time. Mm. We then arrived at a splendid manor. The van entered the premises through the front gate and disappeared from view. We, of course, could So? So we waited outside. I estimate another ten minutes passed. The front gate opened once again, and the van drove out, and we pursued. But thirty minutes later, our pursuit was foiled again. What happened? The van drove into the restricted Kawasaki district. The old hag, of course, demanded that I follow. Yup. They pulled the eye out and they took her to the prototype sink but machine. I was not about to risk my license and livelihood. I wonder what for, though. Instead, I parked on the road and waited for the van to drive back the way it came. Oh, I guess because of the conspiracy ah, stuff. That's course, very we knew it might not take possible. The back. In fact, we were not even sure the van would be coming back at all. But the old hag was not keen on giving up, so we began our stakeout. About 45 minutes later, the date had changed at this point. It was 12.25 a.m. on Monday. How do you remember the time so well? Well, you see, I always keep my radio dial on the same station. I remember precisely which programs were playing during this endeavor. Thus, I can approximate the time. I see. Plus, I figure as a cab continue. driver, you know, you're getting paid by, you know, on the clock. At 12.25 a.m., the old hag's tenacious gamble paid dividends. The van returned down the same street. And thus, we again made pursuit. I kept considerable distance. We had come so far, I did not want to get caught now. But my caution backfired. I lost sight of the van in the RARK warehouses. Without so much as a thank you, the old hag popped open the door and took off toward the warehouses. I waited for some time, but the old hag did not return. The goose was cooked at this point, so I made the decision to return home. I am glad I had the foresight to ask for payment in advance. You sure did. I follow your story. I have one more question. Where is this manor the van stopped at? Oh, every taxi driver in the city knows that residence. It is the personal home of yep, Sajima. I know. Sajima? Why did the van go to So's house? It's so weird, like, having... Knowing so much stuff farther down the line and then going back over and over again and, like, the characters don't know. Like, you can put the dots together, but they don't know yet. We need to speak with him immediately. Agreed. Let's move. It almost makes me wish that there weren't so many splits in the timeline like earlier in the game. I was like, dang, now we gotta go talk to him again, but we don't have the knowledge that we know in, from the other timelines. 
So he's just gonna tell us to go away, probably. There's no one here. Or Indeed. that could happen. I don't see So or his bodyguards. I do not detect them either. It does facilitate you picking up on the new details or smaller ones you might have missed. Yeah, I mean, it's probably different for me for the fact that, like, if there's someone who's, like, wanting to spend as much time as they want on this game, whereas I'm, like, I'm renting the game and I'm streaming and stuff, so I'm kind of more on a limited time with playing it. So for me, it's like, if only it was a little more succinct in places. Let's go inside. Hey, Iba, do you smell something funny? You are aware that I do not possess the sense of smell, correct? Oh, right. There's something strange about this vase. I don't think we've ever been in here oh. before. What is it? This is definitely where the smell is coming from. Is there something inside? Maybe, but the opening is covered by a metal plate. The lid is fixed with a bolt. It will not open easily. Yeah. Just then, break it as open. A standard procedure. Dang, I wish I didn't pick that first. Because it, like, zoomed in on it. Oh, there isn't really anything else that... Oh. Anything else? We just see, like, a dead body curled up. Okay, well. I'm gonna stop joking. What the? Date, destroy the vase. Got it. Now, was that so in there? It kind of looked like so, actually. But that, that'd be weird, because what would change in the timeline that he would die? When the other time he, he, he wasn't dead. But maybe it's not him. No, that's definitely him. So okay, but what changed that would cause him to die this time? I feel like the splits in the timeline aren't just... Um... Aren't even simply like, oh, you did a thing slightly different, so the outcome was different. It almost feels like just straight up alternate timelines just all together. You didn't kill them yesterday night. Well, this is way farther back than when that happens, isn't it? Uh, they are, you just don't necessarily have all the information to know how the butterfly effect happened. Left eye is hollowed out. This is most likely a crime committed by the new Cyclops killer. Do you have an estimated time of death? Today, sometime between 11 a.m. and noon. That's about when I was talking to Ota at Matsushita Diner. That wasn't a very good place to... Uh... To hide the body. It's like they're not really trying to hide the body that well. E either, like, the killers just... I don't know, like, they want to get caught? Like, the Riddler or something? Or... They just are really bad at hiding bodies. They have not moved. That means Ota, Mayumi, and Iris couldn't possibly have committed the crime. Maybe it's number 89. Assuming that this is the work of a single killer, 
Those three can be eliminated from the list of suspects. Ota, Mayumi, and Iris are not the new Cyclops killer. Right. By the way, why is there no one in the mansion? Why do they keep assuming that there's only one no killer? No guards, no housekeepers. I do not know. Does so have family? Maybe they're all working together. Died in labor 30 years ago, giving birth to their son. Their son is currently living abroad. So lived here alone? Do you find that suspicious? No, just... I thought you were his son. Dante, a Which I'm still not sure if he was being literal or not. Connect me. In fact, you need to play word pie with s sword. Because they're always trying to get me to play with them. And I think you'd be better suited for that. Oh, thanks, Pewter. Oh, assuming the killer is one person. But why are... Th exactly, why are they assuming the killer is one person? They need to stop. But there are more pressing matters now. Did something happen? Yeah, I found so Sejima's Yeah, body. something sure did happen, you traitor. With the left eye hollowed out. What? I'm at the Sejima household. Send the investigation team over. Well, we, we still need to go into, uh... Oda's mom's mind so we can see why the heck she's covering... Well, we assume she's covering for Oda, but there might be something else that she's seen or that she knows that we don't know yet. Why so? I can answer your questions when I get back to Abyss. Got it. Dante, what is your plan? Wait until crime scene investigation arrives? No. There's something I need to do. If that taxi driver was telling the truth, Naomi was at the warehouse yesterday. And we know the chocolate we found at the scene was hers. Maybe she saw something. Maybe she knows something we don't. Some kind of clue or information about the culprit. Yeah. Sink, yeah. sink, sink. We're gonna sink with Naomi. Okay, I was about to wrap up, but if we're gonna sink with her right now, I'll, I'll do that first. I was going to be mad if they teased us sinking with her and then we didn't, we didn't get to do it. Now we're going to freaking sink with everyone by the end of this. Really? Doesn't matter. The sink is what's important. If we sink into Mayumi's brain, that might help us find the real culprit. I understand. Are you ready? Yeah. Then let's begin. I wish the boss was there. I don't trust Peter operating by himself here. Oh, and this is the end of the route? That's fast. Oh no, that makes me think it's going to be a bad ending if it ends this soon. The other one, we had a lot more stuff going on before it ended. Whoa, what are we looking at here? Desert? Where am I? We haven't been Ibis in a... Where is this? In a Somnium in a while. Oh, silly me! This is my house! Huh? I... What happened to me? This is Matsushita Diner, though it looks... odd. Okay, Likely yeah, that's what I was dimension. thinking. I was wondering how it was gonna look. Renju's dead in this timeline, so Peter has no motivation to betray you. Uh mm. Well that's assuming that Peter solely did it for Renju and wasn't part of a deeper thing. Then we need to help remind her. Do you think such a thing can be done? This diner means everything to Mayumi. If we do what we did last time, and reproduce the actions from Mayumi's memories, we could help her remember everything. 
Is this what you call your intuition? Told you it was useful. Well, if we must. Somnium scan. Activate. Form of Iba. Yeah, school desk. Oh, geez, there's five locks again. A swinging door that leads to the kitchen. That costs a lot. Is there anything else we could do first? The sliding door at the entrance. We're closed. A wall clock. The hands have stopped. Hey, we got a one fourth. A calendar. The calendar reads two months ago. 30 seconds, that's not bad. The sliding door at the entrance. Welcome or welcome back. Welcome back sounds like kind of like something that's like remembering. What is your Weedle strategy? Isn't that a Pokemon? Part of the diner has manifested. Maybe this is one of the memories she forgot. It must be important to her, though. It looks like a sad memory. It doesn't matter if it's sad. It's still important. An old menu. Let's come up with a new menu. I thought it might trigger Mayumi's memories of customers. But Mayumi still thinks that customers frequent her diner, correct? Yeah, I guess you're right. Agent Dante, you've got five minutes. It's like me when I was young. Looks like me when I was young. Date, something is a bit off. This woman and Mayumi, they are not, you know. Well, there's a beach in the ad, and Mayumi looks like a sea creature, so... Wow. Be nice! An old beer... Could use a beer. I could use a beer. Would Mayumi say that? I don't know. I would. That's just you. Oh, well, that was a big waste of time. Agent Dante, a swinging door that leads. Let's get ready. Oh, we have a times two. Where'd that come from? Oh, that sucks. Oh? It's the phone. 
Roger. Jesus. Could I go waste this on one of these again? Okay, thank God. The hands have stopped. The phone is Wait, what the heck are oh dot dot dot. My husband. My husband. Yes, Matsushita Diner. Yes. Well, yes. Yes. What? Oh what? no. It's the phone call when he had the heart attack, huh? Why? Damn, that was barely the first mental lock. We're in trouble. The diner has changed again. However... These memories aren't all happy, but they are all significant. If this continues, will it not have a negative effect on Manini? Maybe. But we have to see this through. We have to. Understood. Cake. A delicious cake. Wonder who it's for. Resolutions. Let's push your face in it. Congratulations, Ota. I'm home. Ota. Oh, there he is. Congratulations on getting into the university, son. Congratulations. He's so nice despite his, his Congrats. face. He looks angry. What a thumb of a man. Was quite the spoiled child. They never explain why Oda's dad is a different species. He really does. Like, he has a very stylistic look to him compared to everyone else. Definitely had a lot of growing up to do. But that's what makes him so important to Mayumi. I see. You have okay. three minutes, Dante. It's an envelope. Some kind of mail? His grades, this maybe? This is a bank statement. Uh, the Matsushita family's loan. Let's do our best. Or let's forget about it. Let's do our best. Supporting Ota. Okay. We'll work harder for Ota's dream. Another painful memory. No, not quite. Are you certain? Mayumi was under a heavy burden of debt and stress running the diner. That's true. But sometimes hardship is worth it. Is that so? It's a sticker from a chocolate candy. Welcome home! Did you Whoa. get it for me? Baby Ota. It? This is... Ota when he was small? Smaller, you mean. 
An A said figure? He wouldn't know what that is yet. I guess the chocolate would be the one, right? I do kind of. His belt right now does look kind of death drivey now that you mention it. Yeah, Odoroki man, remember? Oh, that. Yes, of course I bought it. Look, the Momonoki Man chocolate that you like. Here you go. That's not it. <laughs> oh, honey, I thought you liked the Momonoki Man chocolate. No, I told you. It's Odoroki Man. Oh, sorry. Your mom can be such a dummy sometimes. That's the product's fault for t having the names be so similar. not very nice. What? Wait, Ota! Uh, uh, where did you go? Uh, uh, please, come out from hiding, Ota! Ota, I'm sorry! Mommy won't make any mistakes anymore, Ota! Ota! Come back! Ota! Oh no. She has nothing left but the clock. Ota? Takaro? Don't leave me! Don't leave me alone! I, I, I'm sorry, Ota! Ota! Takaro! I can't do this on my own. Don't leave me! Oof. So that's what happened. Date, look at what you've done. That's alright, we still have one more mind lock if to Mayumi break. wakes up after all this trauma... I know it's risky, but we're here for a reason. What are you planning? We have to keep going. Just a little more to awaken her past. But... If she loves her family this much, there has to be something. There has to be a precious memory hidden deep within. Is that... your intuition? It is. Okay... A wall clock. Turn back time, advance time. Be either one. Happy Central Coast birthday. Thank you. Central Coast. Right, we'll try the obvious one first and we'll turn back time. Generally, it's not too good to dwell on the past. We've gone back in time. Time is a precious resource, Date. Don't waste it. Stop nagging me. I'll figure it out. Oof, now we have a times two, though. It's a sticker from a child. Welcome home! Don't be so... <laughs> Any of these will kind of kill me. It's not letting me back up. No! Do you mean omelet Damn rice? it. <sighs> like, circle wasn't letting me... Omelet rice. Oh. 
Oh wait, no, not this time. I love omelet rice, but that's not what I meant. Damn it! I wasn't trying to pick omelet but rice. I was I'm just hungry. circle wasn't letting me back out, and square wasn't letting me back out. So I instinctively hit left to try to go back. It's God damn it! I didn't. Welcome home. Yeah, it straight up doesn't let you back out of this for some reason. That's really weird. Well, since I'm lost here anyways, I'm curious to see how he reacts to this. Do you mean a set merchandise? Huh? I didn't ask for the a set meal. See the a set meal. That's what my first thought was when I saw a set. I don't know what you're talking about, but gimme. Date, we can't No, we're not done yet. They're Date! Alright. A wall clock. Alright, we'll, we'll try going ahead in time now just to see if it does any. Whoops. her old and alone. Is this a space odyssey? Ota, sweetie! Wait, that's the answer? I... Uh... But they grayed out the... Making it go back in time again, so that seems weird. We know we can be a hassle sometimes, so... Huh, Ota. Yeah. Were there like two solutions for this one? Like it's okay to go back now. Yes. We didn't really I get agree. much info By for our way, case though, did we? Hmm? I admit, it is useful every now and then. What is? Your Yeah, intuition. I noticed that too. <laughs> yeah, I'm here too. It's like when your mom gets a present for someone else, but they put your name on it too, and you're like, Yeah, I totally helped pick that up. All right. Might be a good thing I made a mistake, because I would have been really confused about uh, what I was supposed to do there otherwise. If I didn't have to go back to the clock again. A 
Yota, I'm so sorry for worrying you. What do you mean? Your mother retracted her confession. <sighs> I'm so glad. Yes, yes. But mom, why did you think I did it? About that. Explain it to Oda. So in anime movie was following the van driven by Oda in a taxi. When the van was hijacked in the family store parking lot, Miyumi was at another convenience store nearby buying some chocolate. Because of that, she didn't see what happened. That's why Mayumi thought Oda was still in the van when he drove away. Can we get reminded again, by the way, why Oda went out of his way to do all this? Like, why he knocked out Date and went on a joyride with Iris? I'm trying to remember. I can't remember what it was. Is, is it just some, like, because Iris didn't have a driver's license or something? It was something really, really silly. Because Iris asked him to. Oh, but we still don't know why she asked him to? That's why he drove her around at least. Well, no, there was a thing where Oda saw Iris driving. She was driving, um the dude, Mizuki's dad, I think. And he knew that Iris didn't have her driver's license and he was like, oh, she's gonna get in trouble. That was like some, at some point that was a thing anyway. Dan was found at the warehouse. She walked into the warehouse, discovered the grizzly scene. A polar bear plucking out Iris's left eye? I was so terribly frightened. I panicked and ran. I'm sure that's when I dropped the chocolate. And I ran away from the warehouse as fast as I could. I just kept running and running. But while I was running, I had a thought. Maybe that polar bear was Ota. Because at the time, I thought Ota was the one driving the van. If Ota brought Iris to the warehouse, then Ota must have been the one in the suit. That's what I was thinking anyway. So that's why. I'm so sorry that Mom doubted you, Ota. No, no, I understand. It's my fault for making you worry. Ota... There's one thing I don't get. Why did you buy that chocolate when you were following me? Oh, because... You liked Odoroki Man chocolate when you were young, right, Ota? True. Yeah. I was like the number one or two collector of the stickers in my elementary school class. I stuck some of my duplicates all around the diner, too. You and Mayumi have strong memories of that chocolate, right? Yeah, but I guess they're not all sweet memories. They're like chocolate, you know? Bittersweet. Makes my heart hurt a little. Should, like dark chocolate, that's yes, the bittersweet one. Oh honey, I thought you liked the Momonoki Man chocolate. No, I told you, it's Odoroki Man. Oh, sorry, your mom can be such a dummy. You're not just a dummy. Oh, well, you're right, sweetie. I'll buy okay, you. Okay, we just saw this. It's not Momonoki. After I yelled at her, mom immediately went to buy me another chocolate. My dad came back from buying some ingredients at the same time, and they ran into each other. My dad really let me have it. How dare you speak to your mother like that? Because mom is stupid. <laughs> You're stupid to call your mother stupid. <laughs> I wish it would just be, You're stupid. <laughs> uh... Your mother bought you that to make you happy. You need to think about how she feels. I didn't raise you like that. But, but... When she comes back, you apologize. Do you understand? My dad told me to apologize as soon as mom came back. But the guilt... I hurt my mother, you know? That guilt in my heart, it didn't go away. Even after I apologized to her. After that, 
Things got awkward with mom, but a few days later, my dad came up with an idea. Hey, Ota, how about this? You know Mother's Day is coming up. I really did not expect his voice to sound like that. Why don't we get a gift for your mom? Hmm? Like he sounds like, he looks like he'd be like a goofy comic relief character, but his voice sounds like a serious, like, I'm the respectable father. A gift? That was the first time I had ever heard my dad say something like that. You know how mom always takes care of us. We should think of a way to pay her back. I'm sure my dad was trying to clear the air between all of us. Yeah, this so chocolate nonsense is getting out of control. I used my New Year's money I saved up to buy my mom that flower knife. And my dad saved up a little money to buy the floral apron. And when mom got her gifts, she started bawling. Like, full-on crying. I mean, we just literally just saw this. Honestly, <laughs> this isn't... Right, Dad? Oh, um... Uh... Sorry. Yes. Mom is the best mom in the world. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we we know. We we got the picture. Oh, speaking of pictures. Say cheese. You can't say anything without it coming true literally true in this game. Sorry. I lost track of time. What were we talking about again? The Odoroki man chocolate. Why she bought the chocolate in the middle of tailing you. Tailing? Mom. Did she it forget could be already? Due to her memory disorder. It is possible that her thought process was once again short circuited. Ota, I'm just going out on a limb here. Huh? Earlier I looked inside Mayumi's head. Inside her head? Well, I did it. We did the same thing you. to you, so you know what we're talking about. Her head was full of memories of you. Mayumi just wanted you to come back, Ota. So she bought that chocolate. The chocolate you loved as a kid. She thought she could get you back home with it. That's why I believe, in Mayumi's head, you're still young, Ota. I mean, he does look the part, let's be honest. I, I could be wrong. No, you're right, Date. That's why my mom bought the chocolate. She wanted her little kid back. All right. I'm sorry. Who are you again? I'm Date. I'm Ota's friend. friend. Yep. Ota's friend. Ota has a friend. She starts bawling again. Is that right? I hope you two get along. Oh, Mom. Alright, it's a serious moment, so we probably won't comment on any of this stuff around. I was always so selfish. I made my mom go through such hard times. She's right there. <laughs> So from now on, Tell I'm going it to, to her support face. her the way she supported me. I'll do anything. I'll deliver newspapers or be a janitor or anything. I'll work as hard as I can to make sure my mom can rest easy. What about your dream of being an author? Well, of course I'm not going to give up on that. But I'll set my sights a little smaller. I'll start by writing a short story. Let me read it when you're done. Of course. One last thing. Oh, no. I forgot to tell you something important. Something important? I heard the nurses talking before I came in here. Iris is awake. Ooh. R really? Yeah, she's due to be transferred from the ICU to the general ward. Thank God. You saved her life, you know. Maybe, just maybe. Huh? Maybe what? <laughs> Nothing. See you, kid. What, what'll be terrible? Is Iris your girlfriend? Uh-uh. Yeah, I'll introduce you next time. Oh, Oda, you can't say that. She's a great girl. Oda. Oh my, I'm looking.
looking forward to it. Is she going to be your financier? Oh, maybe I should clean up a bit first. Financier? <laughs> yeah, he could sure oh, use one. Fiance. Oh, Otto's writing, yes, yeah. That's it. <laughs> Jeez, Mom. <laughs> she knew what she said. <laughs> <laughs> the laughter gets more and more hectic. Transforms into Kun Lan's laughter. Date, there are still many loose ends in this investigation. Sure are. Yeah, you're right. But I don't <sighs> care. Like the end. <laughs> No. Was that an ending? Yep, okay. Alright, cool. So we got two endings today. So that's good. Let's just skip that so we can save. Ah, oh, damn it. To solve this case, we've got to get back to the future. <laughs> yeah. Has there been any progress in this g -man That'd be a nice detail if you fast forward when they're in the car part and it like leaves a trail of fire. None. Zero clue. Not exactly. We have two clues. Two? Two points of information. But they may not connect directly to the murders. What are the two clues? Point one. This may be easier to see than a... I right, sent let's a video see. to the boss's PC. Could you check there, please? Sure. Why is it so windy in this this office? Didn't they say there's like no windows and there shouldn't be like any? They're like really far underground, so there should be no air current. They must have the AC on full blast. Sword, would you get an Iba figurine slash? plush if you could if it was like i guess like a soft gummy type plush it's from sunday night if that counts as a plush yes after date was beaten by ota at matsushita diner Tessa, wait. well that's what i said either that or the ac slash fan or whatever must be on full blast pointing in that direction i guess you there, stop it. I noticed this earlier as well. Do you see the walk on the floor beside Iris and Mayumi? Yeah, what about it? The one that they knocked out Date the with? The bottom part is curved. Do you notice anything in the reflection? Iris and Mayumi? Yes. I have prepared an enlarged and processed version of the image. Boss, the next video. Unfortunately, the one that comes with... Sorry. Hang on. You you stay away from my boy. Tessa. What's wrong? Did something happen? Well, that would no. explain how the knife Everything got there. Fine. Okay, let's go. Ota. Uh, unfortunately, the one hey, that comes this? with the collector's edition of the sequel is of human Iba. Oh, that's lame. That's like if you got a collector's edition of Twilight Princess and they gave you human Midna. Like, who wants human Midna? You want the demon... Whatever you call it, Midna, Imp Midna. Thought there was only shrimp and gummy bear. Iris has the kitchen knife? The video continues, but this should be enough. Iris took the knife and left the diner with Ota. Why is this dramatic? It's like, oh, okay, that explains how the knife got there. It doesn't mean anything concerning, uh, um, 
Iris doing anything with the knife. But if Ota's testimony is true, the polar bear had the kitchen knife. Yes, because they had it with them. It could have just been in the same vehicle that they got kidnapped in. Maybe it was taken off of Iris when she was kidnapped. There we go. That's the most reasonable. The Femisto parking lot? Whatever. We can think about it later. You said you had two clues. Yeah, let's hear the second yeah, clue before we one? go jump into conclusions. I've got some news for you, Jay. Oh no. What news do you have for me now? More thorough autopsy results of Renju's body have revealed something. An object in his intestines. An object? A clump of organic matter. Because it was partially uh, digested, it took significant time to analyze. Well, what was it? It was Iris's hair. Shoko Nadami's eyeball. Ooh. Ota wrote. That would almost imply that he killed her and then someone else killed him. And if there's, okay, if there's multiple people wanting to like sync with other people and they need the eyeballs, that would also make sense. With that. All right, we're going to wrap up here. I think we made a decent amount of progress. We got two endings, proper endings, and we had one proper ending before that. So that means there's two more endings, right? Hopefully including the actual true final one. Uh, it's funny because Mayumi doesn't have anything to do with the mystery. Iba just shows up at the end like, I have found more clues. True. But uh, yeah. As always, thank you for joining. Hopefully we'll be reaching the big conclusion of this soon. I will catch you guys later. Have a good night. Peace out.